You know, I was so close to playing the Jimmy the Bull commercial because we were just talking about him, but I didn't. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? This is the, I guess, 2024 Arnold UK live reaction show. I was going to say live stream, but it's not really the live stream. Go to the live stream. Uh, oh, no, we let me encourage you to go. Reaction. Yes, this is a reaction. So we are reacting to what we're seeing. This is not the actual live broadcast. If you haven't already figured it out, the live stream, the official live stream right now is available on the Arnold UK website. I'll read it out. I'm going to put it up on the screen as well. It's arnoldsports.brandlive.com. There they have um, the live stream right now as it's going on. The the show just began. Uh, Bob Chicarola is taking the stage. We'll get you some glimpses. Is, this, a, is, play this, the the entire first, is this the first in bodybuilding, Sid, that Bob's actually wearing a normal suit? You know what? Let's see. Let's it's see little, it's a little shiny, so I don't know if it's yeah. normal. But, yeah, but compared, to what he normally, I, compared to what he normally wears, it looks somewhat normal. Not you know as flashy. Look, we usually do reactions to the actual bodybuilding aspect of it, but today I think we're just going to talk about Bob Chicarola's suit. <laughs> it's, it's not bad. It, it still has got the sheen, has yeah. some shininess to it. it but looks nice. It looks nice with those. looks nice, yeah. Backdrop. Oh, I think, uh, I think like Bob. Like the Terminator <laughs> suit, he probably calls it. Yes. <laughs> and the shoes. A body... it. Lee, how many suits do you own? Uh, not many. A, I had no, a few, a a few made jackets and that. But it's like you said yesterday. Every time I wear one, it's either well, I haven't been to court, but generally a funeral <laughs> or something like that. It's never, and I hate wearing them. It's like you put them on and just like I can't wait to get home and get this thing off. And yeah, I just like being like being choked. Like if you're big, it's like you're just being choked, or it's like either a you funeral get home or, and, you or... A a, and you think you can just pull the shirt off without undoing the cuffs or your pants without taking your shoes off, and you end up getting all stuck and twisted, and you start pulling. You're like, it would have been easier if I just undone the cuffs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I'm about to pull up the. Uh, all right, so we got yeah, Brian Powers. Brian, on stage, Brian so. Powers on stage. Yep. <clears throat> so yeah, no, the. Uh, I guess if we're, we're going to go with the same program as the Arnold US, which was a couple of weeks ago, um, generally in the Olympia format. It's going to be the individual presentations first for the men's, and then you're going to see uh, bikini men's physique, and then eventually transition back to men's open class. I'm, I'm just, I'm just getting everyone updated. So John Romano says he has no internet at the moment. They're digging up the street. Uh, Dave's going to be joining us. I, I asked Jose Raymond as well. I've actually been on Jose Raymond for quite some time. I tried to get him on the Arnold USA live stream as well, but uh, he says he's working. His weekends are crazy. So Amina Live is going to be joining us shortly as well. But um, as we see Brian Powers and we await to see the men's open, the individuals, uh, what did you guys make of yesterday? Uh, Leo, I'll go to you first. Uh, obviously, look, we knew coming into this was going to be a round two. Once Hadi got his visa, mm -hmm. it was going to be a round two. Hadi, Samson. Uh, I guess the subplot to this is Samson parting ways with Milos after the Arnold US. So coming mm -hmm. in, is he said that his wife was going to be prepping him for this show before he decides who he's going to be going with uh, going forward. What did you make of what you saw last night between Hardy and uh, Samson? Uh, well, from what I, because both shows, even when I was in Columbus, I watched it online. So I know different feeds are different and lighting from both shows is different. But from what I saw yesterday, it seemed samson was probably a little better like i think the gap between them was a little closer so whether samson tightens up today and being in the uk might give him the edge we don't know but hardy at the moment looks like he's that little bit ahead but i think it's a bit closer than columbus and then third on down like james looked great but then akeem i was surprised he wasn't in the first quarter because i think that's the best akeem we've seen and then john de la rosa too he looked great so i think from third fourth fifth it could be like anywhere in between james john akeem and that somewhere around there what i was looking at so it's hard to say but you know it's bodybuilding you know we always come out with predictions and think and say what happens and then you're like oh i was way off so who knows? <laughs> like i said it's going to be how they look now because we've seen akeem make up that difference in columbus and that and stuff so 
if you know one of them comes out a little bit on and the other one's a little bit off tonight, things can change up again. So, so we got Arnold on stage now addressing yep. the UK, the UK crowd. I mean, it is cool to see. Look, um, mm-hmm. the Arnold UK um, under new management, and mm-hmm. you have. I mean, it's essentially a mirror of what we saw, mm-hmm. you know, a couple of weeks ago in uh, Columbus. But uh, the whole show, the whole expo. So obviously, the mm-hmm. United European fans get a new experience in that up you know, close firsthand. So I just wanted, before I go to Armand, um, so I've been told to apologize to Bob Chick's suit. I want you to put in the comments over the course of the next hour and a half, two hours, who we need to be apologizing to, because no, Dave, that's, that's, that's yeah, like so big I know Lenny. you're going to, big Lenny. Yeah, <laughs> big Lenny, yeah. Uh, we're, we're figuring out a mechanism in which to apologize to big Lenny. That hasn't happened yet, but uh, we do need to know who we need to be apologizing to over the course of the next couple of years. Yeah, no, quick pump. Arnold does look a little younger. He's, yeah, he, he looks re-energized, revitalized. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you saw him last week or a couple of weeks ago or whatever, man, the guy is a machine. I mean, he's yeah. everywhere. The guy is literally at every corner mm-hmm. of the expo, of the show, handing out awards, shaking hands. I mean, God, like, how many pitch? Lee, I know you got a picture with him oh. last week, right? A couple yeah, of weeks I got, ago. I got a couple, yeah. I was lucky to have, like, some at breakfast with him and then at the expo, and then he come by the booth and had a quick chat. He's like, man, do you ever stop growing? It's like <laughs> had a bit of a laugh, but yeah. And then I think after the Arnold, he was at the Oscars a couple of days later. So yeah, and I, and I think too, it's like it's good to see him in the UK because you know Arnold has that charisma and pull. I think it does make a difference. I know people love bodybuilding, but I think when people know Arnold's going to be there, I think the crowd turnout is just that little bit bigger and that sort of thing. So it's great that he's going to the shows. Armin, what did you make of uh, what you saw last night out of uh, Hadi and Samson? Did you see anything different? Uh, how did you see it playing out? Yeah, I mean, it seemed a little closer, but I still think Hottie's the clear winner. Um, Samson was – I thought he was going to be tighter because I, I know that's what they were going for. Um, he was maybe a little a little sharper, not much at all. Um, but it looked like he was – his fullness in his legs, I don't know if it was just me or the live stream, I thought his fullness in his legs were a little down. But then I know Hadi with his visa, visa issues, that causes a lot of stress. And like Samson's over there, he can just, I think they just dro- drove to the show, right? And so it was like a few hour drive. Yeah. So, you know, driving versus like trying to get your visa. Cause I watched Hani's video where they're trying to get the visa in Austin and they had to go back to Dallas to get their stuff and then fly out. I mean, it was a, it was a really stressful event. And so it was all last minute stuff. So I'm not sure actually when Hadi actually got in. So I know that has a big thing to play with, you know, if you get in two days before the show, flying that kind of flight, yeah, it's going to, you're going to have to do a things a lot more different to, you know, to dial in. Um, but I still think Hottie's got it in the bag. Um, I like the Keem better than um, James. I'm not sure. Well, James is out right now as we get a look. Uh, this is yeah. the of the individual presentation. So James Hollingshead. Um Look, this and their is color looks version. better now. Their color, yeah, their color yeah, no, no, hundred percent. Yesterday, and actually, I was listening. It's funny you said that. I was listening to oh, what podcast was I listening to? And someone else brought it up who was there, and they actually said there in person, even the colors there. They said they don't know what company was doing it, but a lot of them were all patchy. They didn't have enough oil on, and they were yeah. patchy. Like the tan on the people in person did look really bad. They'll apologize and say, look, I'm not coming down on whatever company did the tanning, but even in person, a lot of people said the tanning just wasn't, wasn't good. Should I be mad? That's your color for your, for your I know. show. I mean, shit. That makes a I'd, huge difference. I'd be color pissed, I mean, oil. They're saying a lot of them didn't have enough oil on too. They were very sort of flat in the oil aspect. So that can make a huge that, difference. <laughs> it had that green look that Jan Tana used to give some people. And, I think they did. I think they put on something else because James' color looks a lot better than it did yesterday. So I'm sure a lot of the guys used maybe something different because that was not a good. Mm-hmm. Even the girls, you could tell it was like a weird color and it was like patchy and it, you know it started <coughs> turning that green green color. And a lot of these tinting solutions, um, if you haven't used them, you don't know how it's going to react with like your skin. So that's the problem. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing worse to find out on stage. It ain't sticking and it's yeah. running off. <laughs> That's where you don't want to find out. The biggest show of the year. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I know when I would compete, I would do like uh, like a few weeks before the show, I would use 
whatever solution I was going to use on stage because I have a girl that would <clears throat> use spray tan me and see how my skin, you know, um, that's why my color was always like really, really good because I made sure my skin kind of reacted well to the color. Um, I know, I know guys that are really like James, he's really pale. Um, he does, he knows, he doesn't have a good base tan at all. I know that helps a lot. Um, I, it looks a little different on, you know, whether someone like, a like a King Kamali, that's a, you know, more olive complexion or like a James or, or I think Lee, you well, it's kind of what Hottie him. has too, in a sense. I don't yeah, know, I, I'd always start putting on like my show is Saturday. I'll probably start Tuesday. I'll do like two coats Tuesday, Wednesday morning, just had that little warm shower, let the excess wash off. And while the skin's warm, put another coat on straight away, another two on for Tuesday. I mean Wednesday and a Thursday. And then Friday I just might only need one coat that morning and then see how it sits on there and stuff. So they don't do that anymore, Lee. They they literally get sprayed the day before the show, yeah. and then like the morning. You, know, you, need of, you need a bit of base there. That way, you can get the excess off. Because sometimes, if you do it like too many coats too quick, it's all the excess sitting on top of the skin. It just builds up and builds up and clogs the pores, and then you get that big mess when you get on stage and start sweating and add oil to it. So we got to look I at Akeem Williams. I think they had it done better, and then Lee also did too. Because when you start doing your tan days prior you got it on there when you just spray it on all at once and like kind of rush it which they do now it's kind of like a it can blur the, I think I think you can mess with the conditioning look too and the look of the you know of the of the exactly. skin so I think I think Akeem looks a little bit tighter tonight does he or is it just what did you guys think of Akeem last night because if we go I back a couple great. of weeks ago he was great. I mean he came in finals I mm -hmm. mean if he was like that at prejudging yeah. you could have made a sincere argument he could have been pushing for a spot in the top two if all the stars aligned. Yeah, that's why I think I came yesterday at the pre-judging. That's probably the best we've seen him in a pre-judging. So I think he did really good. That's why I was surprised with the first call and that, that he wasn't in it. <coughs> Excuse me. No, Akeem, uh, so, I mean, you know, this, this actually came as a surprise to us. Chris held on to this information for quite some time, but Chris Cito is actually coaching him. Um, no. <laughs> for the show yeah 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 <laughs> i don't know if you, did you guys know that or no yeah 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 so so chris is uh coaching him um now if, for those that are unaware um you know obviously we discuss this on air but chris cito's uh, mother passed away um mm -hmm. the week of the arnold classic uh um, yeah. yeah so he wasn't you know obviously able to I maybe mean, look between akeem between ramon he wasn't able to obviously be there at those mm -hmm. critical last moments to peak in person or whatever. And obviously yeah, that is, you know, something you have to factor into the overall equation, but nonetheless, I mean, look, you, you're seeing a new version. I think of, uh, Akeem. Look, we saw a new mm -hmm. version of James Hollingshead as well. I mean, full credit to him. This is a totally new version. They talk, they of James talk about Hollingshead, but, back, yeah. You know, talk about his back, but here his lats are high, but he's got a thick back and wide back and, Condition in the back double biceps. I don't know why they come down so hard on his back all the time. Well, to me, it looks pretty good. So, yeah, it might not be like the low, lowing lats, you know, up to got the higher lats, but still, it's an incredible back when he turns around. <laughs> I just wanted to point out one quick thing, guys. So, we are going to be popping in and out of the live. I'm not going to have it in this full display and I'm not going to have it running for minutes and minutes on end. Um, it is a free live stream, but still, I don't want to take advantage of that fact. Mm -hmm. But, uh, <clears throat> Hottie is on again. I have the we have the live stream link, so we do encourage you to go. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, look, it's it's a free service that they put out. It's a free live stream. Uh, go show support, right? I mean, I, I don't usually do the whole, oh, go show support thing or whatever like that. But in this case, look, they're giving you one of the biggest shows of the years for free. Go show support. Go click on the link. Give them the numbers that they need to have. Um, the link is below. But, you know, again, the, Hottie's on stage right now. Um, Lee, what do you Hottie's see right drier. now? Hottie. He's yeah, drier. He looks dry, yeah. Yeah. He's drier, but he's a little more flat in the chest than he was previous. But he is he is drier. Like I said, it'll be interesting. I have to wait till, like I said, pretty much they all come back out and stand side by side because, you know, when anyone's by themselves on stage, they look incredible. It's when you put them up against each other, then we can start looking at the floors. Good afternoon, Mr. Romano. Good evening, Mr. Romano. Good evening. How is everyone? John, I have to say one thing. I, I told Dave this, and, and I'll say it to you as well. I love the sound. The, the microphone is freaking pristine. We got to have you looking at the camera. <laughs> this, uh, oh, this... you looking that way? 
Hey, you Lee, like this you, angle? They're, they've, they're using a different color. They Their color looks yeah. night and day from I think, yesterday. I think someone probably spoke to him and said, go yeah. some protein or something. Go. No, yeah. no, 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 no. It, it's more like, John, it's kind of like, you know what you look like right now? If you ever watch like, the this, old, like, Howard Stern live broadcast, like they yeah, have, like, this color is good. The other color was bad. That's yesterday. what I was going for. <laughs> John's got to go for contributor. John's yeah, got you're a movie producer. camera. You're, you're a main movie contributor. camera. Got a movie was, camera behind you, monitor. So I was looking at you. <laughs> looking at I, you. I, I was going for the Howard Stern, you know, fly on the wall look. Yeah. <laughs> no, look, it's a great setup, and, and like I said, you sound pristine. I wish everybody on RX Muscle contributor, whatever recurring character, sounded like you. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> That's I an got, extreme I got, I got compliment a, coming from the coming from you, dude. I got a good mic set up here, but I just not plugged in. I bought some shit. I just haven't put it up. I'm not tech savvy, savvy at all, so my wife has. To I'm, I'm put it, put it we got we got Samson Samson on stage now, so. See, so see, it looks like, like they're all using, uh, you know, they fix their color. So yesterday the colors were really really bad. Today they, their color looks a lot better so you know but someone probably said hey like you're, you're everybody's colors really off so it looks like they probably what they did they probably showered whatever junk they had on <laughs> really got that stuff off and redid it because this this is How a completely different look what why does oh, the lighting pristine. suck again pristine leaf phenomenal well, it, it's it better good. than um yesterday it was better it's better than yesterday john you weren't here yesterday but the no. The oh, tans God. were all were horrible. They were all green. All the tans were green. So, <laughs> like they're using protein yeah. again. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. So the, all the tans were green. So what I was talking about is they used a different solution for tonight because it's night and day what they look like. Because the tans looked horrible yesterday. Even in the women, it had that. You know that. You know John. It had that yep, that, that muddy green, look, right? Yeah, that green putty muddy type green of look. And, yeah. 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 Yeah, so rumor, they did rumor something. Has it, because... Rumor has it that since Arnold said that Wesley looked like Lou, they tried to make everybody look like the Hulk at this show. <laughs> make everybody green. <laughs> yeah, I, I was I was surprised by that comment. I really was because <laughs> you know like Lou. <laughs> ever since Wesley Vissers broke out on the stage, and again Samson on stage right now. But uh, you, know, you know what? Let's get a, let's get a glimpse before I get into the Wesley story. Let's get a glimpse of Wesley of Samson out of. Better than he did last yeah, week. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. He's tighter. He yeah, he's a lot tighter. tighter. He's not he's as full, but he's a lot tighter, which looks better. He looks stage. actually yeah. looks crisp in his shit light, too. So that might be in person. He must yeah. look great. Yeah. And well, the lights look, must be bright because yesterday he looked a lot darker, too. So his skin looks a lighter brown than it was like black yesterday. So the it's been almost universal again just uh last couple of years. I mean look, he's had a fairly meteoric rise. We go from top six Olympia a couple of years ago, winning the Arnold Classic and then obviously jumping right into that Olympia title conversation or whatever. I think that's been what people have been craving for, that that tighter look, that more conditioned yeah. look. And I certainly brought that here tonight. Oh, His legs are harder but they're not as he sacrificed some fullness. That's what, you know, that's what we talk about when we talk about, you know, like, Hey, the legs are down or, you know, Hey Dave, don't you think, uh, um, Samson's legs are harder, but they're not as full, right? Yeah. Yeah. But still, they're still freaking huge. And it's, no, it's, it looks, I think he looks better. I, this and his better symmetry, I, yeah. his symmetry is better than hotties. That's for sure. Like, and like I said, Samson has that physique where if he dropped a couple of pounds, he'd look like Wheeler did when he, which I think like he did. did. Yes. Yeah. Which Lee I think is, he did. Lee is correct. And the thing yeah, is, like I said, and, and, I think he has, but I think yeah. even he just goes a little bit more and suffers a bit more. He's going to look, yes, say you lost another two to five pounds, he's going to look 10 to 15 bigger on stage if he comes right. in oh, yeah. dry like Wheeler when he was at 218. Look at those famous shots of him at the Ironman stage doing this where his delts are out here and that. Then he tried to play the size game with Ronnie and he never looked as good after that. So. Nope. We got Dave uh, joining us. From from uh, I don't know if I don't I, I think I got a reboot I, I can't hear Dave, you guys. Dave's joining us from. Wait, we can, can hear, hear us. You. Yeah, I can hear can you. Hear you. Yeah, he oh, can't hear well, us. We can hear you. Yeah, I'm gonna reboot. I'll be Dave, right. Dave, just do me one favor, if you can, just don't have that that shade in the background. This light's like really bright. That's the only. Just turn the other way, I guess. Hey, he's in <laughs> the 
Easier. He's in okay, so John De La Rosa is up right now. Yeah, John um, De La Rosa. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give a live glimpse of John De La Rosa again. Like I said, we have the link mm-hmm. on the bottom. I'm gonna keep it there as long as I can. Just uh, again, support what the Arnold Classic is doing. Go to the live stream. Go give them the numbers. Uh, the link is there, the direct link. So if you haven't already registered, there is a registration process, but that'll bring you right to the live stream. Um, now, look, John De La Rosa has been sort of the revelation over the last couple of days, mm-hmm. uh, uh, last couple of weeks, rather. Uh, I mean, look, complete, complete package that he's bringing to the stage. Uh, a mm-hmm. really new version of him. Tight. Oh, yeah. And uh, he's certainly flat right, John's right flat right here. Whatever yeah, they did, he, he, he's, yeah, he's flat right a lot. I was he just, just going to say that. He's, 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 he's got a coating on him. Yeah, he's flattened out a lot. Yep. Yeah. He ain't, he's definitely not popping. He looks good though. He's got great yeah. shapes, but pre judging yesterday, he looked really good, like a lot harder. Yeah, maybe a little bit too much diuretics <laughs> or whatever. Two day shows, it's just crazy. Brutal. I mean, look, yeah, it's, yeah. it. Just look at the grand context of things for John De La Rosa. I'm going to bring him up yeah. here real quick. You consider everything he's gone through over the last couple of years. <laughs> Um, and look, he was very open with us, you know, on air. He was talking about, yeah. you know, everything in his personal life and bicep tear. And mm-hmm. he was at the low of the lows in terms of just, yeah. you know, bodybuilding life in general. And really, he's like, that's all I know. I'm a bodybuilder. Mm-hmm. And if I couldn't even go to the gym, that's where things were really at the darkest point. But mm-hmm. yeah. turn, everything's turned around, you know, uh, he got married again. And, uh, you know, here he is on the Arnold Classic stage and, you know, really showing another level another level that we haven't seen before even you know in his new york pro glory days but certainly a great story here mm-hmm. yeah i think i think he's gonna do the detroit pro show too that's that's a good move that that's gonna be a pretty loaded show like i know uh martin fitzwater is gonna be in that as well mm-hmm. um they're, they're gonna be some dudes uh that's the a detroit good, pro. good show for someone yeah. to try get a yeah. patient that doesn't have one now like there, there are some good shows coming up. But New York Pro is going to be loaded as well. I mean, I, uh-huh. I can't say it, it, I think, everyone is going to be. I mean, gonna, I think Nick Walker's going to walk away with that the way he's looking. Yeah, oh, well, look, yeah, there's no contest. You're going to have Nick Walker. You're going to have Tony O'Burton, defending champion. Um, they're trying to get Nick Zilla there. Wow. Uh, as Antoine Vaillant. I like that. I like here. Nick Zilla. I like Nick Zilla. He's freaky in that, but when he stands on stage with the guys with a bit better shape. Yes, he's got yeah. freaky legs and freaky arms, but it's like, you know, once you stand near someone that has nice symmetry and also the muscle mass, he sort of loses that wow factor. That's why back in the day, Victor Richards never competed. It's like, if you got that aura about you, it's that what if? What if Victor competed? Where would he place? And then if he well, had to get in shape, place, he, he's he got the place, size. So, he just has to get yeah. in shape. Yeah, well, that's the that's the sixty four million dollar <laughs> proposal for everybody. I mean, yeah. yeah, everybody's got the size. It's just so few of these guys are cracking the mark when it comes to condition. So yeah. I just think, it, like I said, it, it's no just one, one. It's pretty much one disappointment after the next. Yeah. No what do you guys make of uh, what we see? What we're seeing out of Antoine here, and then what we've seen uh, over the last couple of weeks. Antoine, um, I think the, I thought he looked a bit better last last Arnold. So maybe the traveling here might have smoothed him out a bit or something different. But I thought he looked a bit crisper. Still looks fantastic, but I thought he looked a bit crisper in Columbus. He looks a little downsized and flat to me. Um, Things aren't popping. You know, these shows are hard when when they're traveling to a different country. You gotta you gotta understand. You're prepping your food. I mean, it's it's hard to travel. If you're if you've never competed, especially over you know different countries, yeah, but but bro, that's part of the game, man. That's yeah. it's not all just lifting and posing. It's it's all of that shit. Yep. It's 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 how do you eat? How do you to just get all of your shit where you got to get it? How all of uh-huh. those factors go into what culminates into a win? You got to do everything. So. To say, you know, oh, it's really hard to just, you know, not have to take your food with you. It everything's really hard. What part of this is easy? You know, you think, you it's think not. Too, it's it's, it's, think it's too, extremely days, difficult. And, yeah, um, these days too, like we talk about the suffering. You know, back in our day, there's no social media, so every contest we went in, we had to pretty much go in looking our best because magazine photo shoots depended on it. Getting the cover of the magazine, keeping right. your contract, and hoping they increase your contract and re-sign you depended on it. You had all these factors that made you go in the best you could be. But now, if you're thinking shit, not even competing, I'm making over a hundred thousand a year. Maybe you lose that hunger a little bit. Where 
okay, I might get four for that, whatever. I don't really have a supplement contract, but I'm making money doing other stuff. So maybe that fire to be your very best isn't there like it was back in the old days because I knew come, yeah, here you, come, Dave. come September, you know, if your contract had to be resigned in November, come September and that you're going into that Olympia sunken place looking the best for them. <laughs> oh, let me let me try to get Dave uh, back uh, looped in here. Audio. I hear I hear Talk like again, Dave? third word. His audio is not working. Yeah, he the audio is not working. G set it up for him. Did you say Mister G set it up for 15, him? He needs a fifteen-year-old from the neighborhood to stop in and. <laughs> It was tech. Hey, Dave, go on your phone. Get off the computer. Motion on now on stage. <laughs> so is it just my picture, or all of these guys look smooth and flat? Yeah, I think it's uh, really they do. They all look. They all look flat. They all. The, the, John, yesterday, like I said, the color was really bad. So they were right. really green yesterday, and you know, a color has to has a lot to do with your presentation. Color, oil, all sure. that stuff. So um, I think they washed that off. They used some other product <laughs> and. Um, yeah, but they these last guys, Antoine looked flat, downsized. Yep. Um, this guy looked re he he looked really bad at the Arnold. Um, so I think oh, he looks not. a little better here than at the Arnold because he wasn't in shape at the Arnold at all. Uh, yeah, I think the lighting tonight's a lot. The lighting's a lot brighter because, like yesterday, yeah. like I said, Samson yesterday looked a lot darker. Today he looks like a nice tan. So they definitely turned the lighting up tonight. I think. Yeah, and Bosch was tenth the... at the Olympia just uh, <laughs> what, three years ago. It's crazy as such big quads and zero calves. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... It looks like he's going to sink through the earth up to his knees. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to whatever the beach, you're shooting in your quads, take the water to your knees. Yeah, whatever you're shooting in your quads, put it in your calves too. Yeah, yeah shoot, shoot, shoot it's very low. Way. So, I hey, can't Dave. Hear we, we can, can hear, hear Dave. Yes, you guys just sound like really, really like loud. Someone said that in the comments. The volume was low. Trying to figure out what's going on with the computer. So when I figure Dave, it out, so I, you, you're, you're 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 like on a you have like a two second lag behind your between your voice and your well, what we can actually hear. Yeah, he, he just exited. I out. think he walked back out already. I can hear you all perfectly fine. I don't know what anyone's sitting wrong. in the back booth at Denny's there, so he hasn't got good signal. <laughs> <laughs> I know that window. That's a Denny's window. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot stand when tech stuff doesn't work. I just want to like smash my computer and just start oh, throwing man. everything. <laughs> it drives me nuts. I've done that before. With, I did that once with a scanner copier. Put my foot through it. The, I lost my pen. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Now I've got to go buy a new one. <laughs> That's when they brought out the wireless ones. It's for some reason it wasn't connecting properly. And it yeah. wasn't. I'm like, fuck it. Hey, Dave's back. All right, I'll see who is coming on next. Again, right now it's the individual presentations for the men's open class, and then you're going to have uh, bikini, men's physique, and they're going to go back to uh, the confirmation rounds and then eventually the awards. But right now the individual presentations, we've seen Hottie, you've seen Sam. I mean, this is only a seven-man seven, seven man lineup, so that's mm -hmm. the other part of it as well. So, I mean, what what do you guys think of the, um, the format of, of the Arnold, what we've seen? Again, it is fewer divisions. And mm -hmm. there's been a lot of debate over the course of the last couple of weeks regarding, you know, more inclusion of some of the other divisions that, you know, they phased out, you know, they phased out 212 back in, I think, 2019, I think, right. 2018, 2019. Yeah. They don't have figure. They don't have women's bodybuilding. Um, I may be forgetting a division or two here. Women's physique, they don't have, uh, mm -hmm. again, Pros and cons, I, I guess. One of the pros, and right now they're so this is a new feature. They're in a commercial right. break right now. So what they do during the commercial breaks is that they will have um, the camera go around the in-house camera go around mm -hmm. the auditorium. They get you a camera, hit a hit a post. Mm -hmm. It is cool. It was actually pretty. Live. <laughs> Everybody's peeling. You know, it yeah, off. it was cool. It was it was actually a nice touch. I, it was a very creative thing that they did. But mm -hmm. again, let's go back to the conversation again. These are shorter shows now. I mean, the whole show. Is done in a capsule of about two ish yeah. hours. Lee, what did you make of that? Again, fewer divisions, but you know, like, these good like like taking their clothes off. This is <laughs> this is awesome. You know why this is so good? I've always I always say this: bodybuilding is the only sport 
for spectator sport where the spectators are as much the athlete as the one you're watching on the stage. <laughs> true. Mm-hmm. When Very you true. go to a baseball game, football game, basketball, hockey, nobody in the audience is peeling off, hitting, you know, do, doing anything remotely close to what the people on the field are doing. Here, we have yeah. the audience is full of bodybuilders. So, I mean, it's like, it's it just, well, I'm sure it's so unique. Half of, them baseball think, baseball half of them think players. they could win the really? half, of them, yeah. half of them in the audience think they could be on stage there. Trust me. <laughs> they just peel off their clothes and start opposing. It's like, yeah, I mean, yeah, you're, you're going to go to a baseball game and people are going to start pitching in the middle of the freaking. <laughs> but have you ever, have you ever noticed it's sometimes? Happen. That, uh, there's Kevin. Have you ever noticed that sometimes just the crazy ones who don't have the muscle flex the most, thinking they've got the muscle, and you look at them thinking, "What are you doing?" It's like the guys with the muscle are the humble ones who just sit there and they're like, "Yeah, oh, that's right, always right. how it is." Yeah, yeah, right. I, uh, it's gym, you got the I, I think I think what they what they did, it, you know, getting the crowd involved, getting fan yeah. involvement, yeah. I think it's fun. I think let's let's yeah. see if we can get uh, Dave back in here. Dave, uh, you can hear us fine, or yeah, can you hear me, guys? Now yes, we can. much better. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. I don't. For some reason, I I plugged in this this shore microphone, and for some reason, I couldn't. I think it was trying to do the audio out from the shore, so I unplugged. Sure, it. sure. it's always something, right? Sure, yeah. yeah. Sure. So what? What I missed what you guys said earlier because I was trying to get this uh, configured. What, what do you guys well, think after watching all the individual routines? You everybody's think out of shape. Their colors off. The 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 color changed, Dave. So you know, yesterday it was all green and and yeah. blotchy looking. It looks like they washed off and put something else on. Um, and those girls coming out and look like they got green, don't they? Look a little yeah. Green? Whatever they put on looks like it went in through yeah, their skin the and flattened right them all here. out. Yeah, but. They all kind of everybody looks flat, Dave. Like uh, Hottie, Hottie even looks flat through his chest, and all. And then un, Antonio, uh, Antoine, Antoine um, you're talking about, yeah. looks flat. Everybody's Antoine, looking flat. I thought Antoine everybody. looked better because I thought he was too over full yesterday. I think, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. But back to what Sid was saying, I like this shorter format of having fewer divisions. But me personally, being bodybuilding, people like to see the bodybuilders. I would drop men's physique and put in the two twelve. Yeah, I, I I think they should separate it into hardcore and not so hardcore and have two different <laughs> weekends. But no one will go to the non-hardcore. That's the problem. <laughs> they, well, then that should be the writing on the wall to tell you that that's not a division worth keeping. Right. Right. I, in order, if you got to trick the audience into sticking mm-hmm. around to like something that they don't like, you're doing right. something wrong. So if it can't stand on its own, then fuck it. Get rid of it. Men's physique Look, and wellness save it for the Hawaiian tropics contest. You, you know, you say that though, but let, let's put it this way. Like the right. minor leagues in baseball. It's like you st- not everyone watches the minor leagues. The, the real true hardcore fans will watch that too. But yeah, but you but need the minor but leagues. MLB to kind of get you need to you need the minor leagues still. But MLB people. doesn't force you to stay in your seat to watch a minor league game <laughs> before the major leagues come out. Sure, this sure. is audience manipulation and it, <laughs> and it's wrong. If you if you have to trick people to stay in their seats to to you know force what? them to watch another division, no, then but, that division but, is not worth keeping. But you know what, John, they say that they say that they they they, they do the men's open last because they want to make sure that the people don't leave. But you know what? I've been to all these shows. No one leaves. No, yeah. people are excited. They're paying a lot of money for tickets. They're not <laughs> leaving. They're not they they leave. put the men's open on first. They're not leaving. I'm yeah. telling. I you. agree with they you. They do leave. They've got the money for the ticket anyway. So who cares if they? That's do That's the other point, Lee. That's exactly right. The promoter's got the money. What does he care if you never even go? I mean, I mean, you're there. You're hanging out. Money. You're talking. You know, you might not be watching the show, but you're there. You're well, you're I talking. Mean, I can understand you want the crowd, you want the buzz, the audience. You know, I can understand that, but th- that that's got to be self generating. You can't well, force they it. Right? That. They put the men's routines on first tonight, right? So everyone got excited. Now you still can't leave because we don't know who won. So we got to see the the, right. the the comparison rounds and the pose down and all that stuff. So Saturday's good. Sunday, you're talking about Friday night. You didn't want to see them go last, and and I think what they could have done is they could have done all the individual walkouts first to get people excited. Then they could have done the other divisions. Then they could have brought them back out and they could have done the comparison. Well, why don't they just go back to the one day format on the Friday, have the wellness, have the men's physique and all those things. Right. And then on the Saturday, have a one day format prejudging in the lunchtime finals at seven, where yeah. they have the classic, the open bodybuilding right. and those sort I, of 
ones. Well, are, are we talking about the Olympia or the Arnold? Because I mean, both. I, said, both. Both. I, I think what what happens is they they sell more tickets Friday night if the men's open is going to be on the Friday night and Saturday night. But I remember the Arnold Classic when I was yeah. I was I mean I've been going since '94. Mm -hmm. That Friday night was always sold out. I, yeah. I don't know, and that and they never had the men's open on Friday yeah. night. So. See, see that? I, that's the, all the that's people the that thing. come to town to come to town to see it, they're going to go see it no matter what. So you haven't traveled all around the world right. to sit in your right. hotel room. You're it, it's go like if it. you're buying a ticket to this thing because you want to watch bikini, you're going to watch bikini. No one's going to change your mind about that. Right. If you bought the ticket to watch bodybuilding, you're watching bodybuilding. You might tolerate bikini for a while because it's in the way, but that's right. not why you're there. Right. So. I, I is I think it's self supporting. If well, you, I think if you need bikini there because I you know you know it's for the people who have to go to the, take bathroom breaks and stuff like that you know. <laughs> what are, what, are you know, what I, I, I don't mind it. You know what with the Arnold the way they're doing it with three divisions of men three divisions of mm -hmm. women, I I can completely watch the whole show and not feel fatigued to the point where I, I can't stand it anymore. Which which okay. happens when when there's every division there. But how do you, but how do you decide? It, it's it's like the lifeboat only fits twelve people and you got fifteen. Who are the three you're going to throw overboard? Well, I so, think they should. I think they should change it every year for the women since there's so many women's categories. And you, you know, one year you do. They're always going to keep fitness because fitness yeah. is very entertaining. Right. And yeah. then you, you you rotate. Maybe one year you do women's bodybuilding. One year you do physique. One year you do figure. Bikini mm -hmm. wellness, you you can rotate it. It's an yeah. invitation. The key word being invitation That's means they don't. They're not required to have every division there. You know, or not even rotate That's it where like point. the of Columbus. You have the men's open, the classic two twelve. Two right. weeks later, have the men's open classic, but men's physique. Just switch. You know, different contests, different classes. So. For people who yeah, want to do UK this. versus America, yeah, yeah, you could do that. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll say this much because Lee, look, you made the point about the 212, right? And whether there was even a need for the 212 division, I will say this um, which division between 212 and men's physique, Rami, right? yeah, fair enough. We this panel comes from a background of hardcore bodybuilders, mm -hmm. but who has a bigger following right now? I it's men's physique, men's I physique think it's the world onto really. itself. Like men's physique does, yes, but when you look at it overall, I think the 212 has a bigger following because, you know, it's still bodybuilding. People go in there, they're shorter guys, they're a bit lighter, but yet they come in peeled and stuff. So people yep. all the time, sometimes, even at the Olympia, like, oh, we prefer to watch the 212 sometimes more than the men's open, even though the men's open is the yeah. premier one because everyone knows the 212 is going to be more competitive. They like the, that's the biggest thing. I think only because they're generally speaking, it'll be a little bit more competitive. But I, I think, again, let's not discount the fact that men's physique. And again, I'm only saying this from a perspective of if you're a company, you're looking at a marketing aspect of it. Men's physique has a complete different world that we again, it's not it's not an RX muscle thing. Let's just be very real. Right. Because our audience yeah. is not coming to RX muscle for men's physique. They will go to other channels. Mm. But I'm saying there's a massive, massive like, oh, yeah. again, the champion from two weeks ago, Diogo Montenegro. Right. We may have not talk. We may have just mentioned his name once on the recap. But there are other channels that I mean, people are blowing them up to talk about. What happened? You know, did he deserve to win? Did Chiron yeah. get robbed? By the way, where's Kamali? Come, come, dude, he he texted me saying he texted you earlier in the day saying that he had a family engagement. Oh. <laughs> so I sent Dave a text a few hours ago. So and the men's physique too. Like, you know, when they have the Olympia in Florida, you can just go down to South Beach and see the men in board shorts on the beach if you want to see men's <laughs> True. It, you know, it, it's hard to sit through. I remember I was judging, uh, you know, when you, when I had to be a judge, you had to test judge, obviously, right? And you had to get like, I think it was like 85% of what the judges got. And I would, every time bikini and men's physique would come on, I would go to the bathroom. I just could not sit there <laughs> literally for yeah, hours. Yeah, but um, Arma, that's like 30 <laughs> guys in the class. With the Arnold here, it's like 10 guys they invited, 12 mm -hmm. guys they invited. It's, it's, it's. It's not torturous, you know what I mean. I don't mind no, sitting for men's no. physique at the Arnold here because I think it's they, it's an invitation that if it's small groups of people, I can yeah. tolerate any class because small, it's yeah, more exciting that way because you can actually you know sit there and actually digest it. But if I have to wait for forty people to come out and turn around fourteen oh. times. That, that that's fatiguing. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Yeah, I, I also think limiting the the number of participants like that makes it more prestigious to actually oh, yeah. be there. Yeah, you yeah. know, yeah. I mean, you're really the best of the best if you're among the top seven guys. You know that gets right. invited. Mm -hmm. So 
Like, you know, like in nationals, we got them lined up like cattle, like bikini yeah. girls, and you got like forty of them out there, Ooh. fifty of them. Like, oh my gosh! Like, uh, it's like when they, they all look the same. It's it's just I, I don't know. Never want to judge. It's a headache well, waiting yeah. to happen. That's why well, I stopped. If you had thirty people, that was just like thirty people at the Mister Olympia. Was just like, oh my god, when's it going to end? Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's too much for Olympia. The, you know, they yeah. should have. You know the. Some, the these bigger shows are, are, are easier because you, these are the best of the best of the best. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's not like nationals where you're seeing 40 people at a time, 50 people at a time. That is literally dra exhausting and draining for everybody from, especially the, the night, of, night, of champion, night of champions back in the day, I would have like 45 people stacked up on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was only men's bodybuilding. That was the only right. thing. Yeah. 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 That's the thing. I got my popcorn for the, for the Arnold here. I was going to say, it looks, like, it looks like you're sitting in that last booth at Denny's when I go there with the window behind you. <laughs> Denny's. Yes. I hop. Oh, yeah. Mm. So right now, bikinis on stage. Next, they're going to be men's physique, and then eventually they're going to get back around to open class. I don't know if they're going to have any, um, like, at the Arnold Strong US, man. they had the Lifetime Achievement Award. I don't know if they're going to have anything ceremonial in between. I don't have the running show, but... Uh, run off show rather, uh, but that seems to be the division by division breakdown at least for tonight. So Remember they used to have at the uh, Arnold's US. I don't know. I don't know if they ever did this at the Arnold UK. They would have the the strongman events. Yeah, I actually right. found that to be very entertaining. I, I was mm -hmm. a big fan of that. I mean, yeah, it, it did extend the night a little bit, but I, I thought that was really. That? I mean, to see that in person, that was really cool. They're selling tickets exclusively for the strongman now. And they sold out, so wow, that's why they Powers should. Me. I mean, it's that popular, the strongman. So they have their own. That's why I'm we'll saying you could probably relegate this to two separate weekends have one weekend yeah. that's you know more hardcore bodybuilding, then the other weekend you can have the strongman, bikini, wellness, all, all that other shit that's not as hardcore. Why not you know? have yeah. a whole week, John? Why not devote well, a whole that's week? The, I, I, I would agree with the whole week, but who's going to go to the week, the stuff Monday through Thursday, through Monday through Why Friday, not? Thursday? If you, if you like bikini and, and wellness, you'll go there. I mean, I think maybe you could have a Thursday, Friday, you put Saturday. Men's open on the uh, on Saturday yeah. night. That's all. You could have Thursday, yeah. like Thursday or night. Thursday, Friday, <laughs> like you guys just said, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We uh, should, I, I think, think you guys did most, most of these fans uh, that are talking about, you know, Vince Physique's more popular. Clax is more popular. They're 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 online. They're on social media. They're they're not at the shows buying the tickets. They're not, you know, spending the money to go meet the athletes and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, you hear people say all the time, "Oh, classic physique's taking over." Taking over what? How's it taking over bodybuilding? <laughs> oh, it's just bigger, bigger, bigger. How? Like, oh, on social media because you no, know, that's not how it works. You're like business business wise, like bodybuilders. It all comes back to bodybuilding. Everybody wants to say, "Oh, classic is classic is getting bigger in the bodybuilding." This no, nothing is ever going to be bigger than bodybuilding. Nope. So, now, this, this I, I, I'll here. say this though, who, because the, that, that debate always comes up. But again, take Chris Bumstead out of the equation, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, classic physique will still enjoy immense popularity, but it's not. Is it going to have the same standing that it has right now? Right no. now, right now, that when Chris Bumstead walks onto the stage, it is all the camera phones are out, all the you know, every it, everyone's eyes are locked in. It's an event. I mean, that's the main event right there. You take him out, right? Deciding he wants to retire one day or whatever. Um, yeah, people will still come and watch classic Zeke. Ramon is popular, obviously. Wesley's popular, obviously. Yeah. Um, Urs is popular, so you have star quality, but. I think a lot of that emanates from the fact that you do have that one standalone yeah. transcendent star in Chris Bumstead. But I think Chris, too, I think Chris okay. too, like he's, he's a great star, but you know, sadly it's like any sport where, you know, Michael Schumacher in F1 and that as good as you are, when you're the champ for so long, people, your star starts burning out, even though he's still got all the followers and fans, people are like, Oh, he's going to win again. We're sick of this. So, People want to see you get beat. They start hating on you. It's like if you're getting second place, everyone wants to see you win. As soon as you start winning, they hate you. They want to see you lose. So I think so after a while, having the same champ, no matter what division, right. people get a bit tired and they sort of go, okay, we're sort of over him now. Can somebody else win this division? So they start rooting more for the Ramones and all these sort of things to come in and beat them. Even though you, you, you think we're at that point now with, with, with uh, C-Bomb? I think so. I think it's right on that. You know, where people are like, come on. <laughs> So, like, we're saying he might retire and not do the show. 
I don't think people are sort of like, because, you know, he's having the baby and if he says he's retiring, I don't think people are going to be that upset because people want to see a new champion. Yes, it'd be good to see the old champion get beat, but you know, it's like anything. It's like when Schumacher, seven races to go and he's got the championship already wrapped up. You're like, oh, yeah. this, this but as, but <laughs> as, as Seabum gets more popular, more people follow him. They follow what he's doing. Yeah, so kind of yeah. by default, they're learning about the sport and the other people in it. And I think in time, the rest of these guys are going to have a much greater followings mm-hmm. than they have now. Yeah. And they'll be able to carry the sport without Bumstead. Yeah. I'm, I'm not saying the sport won't continue, that the division won't continue. I'm just saying I think there is a standalone effect that Chris Bumstead has had that, again, you know, helps all the other ships rise and everything like that. But I, I just I my my biggest question in all of this has been the day that Chris Bumstead no longer competes. Will Classic Physique still have that same like immense popularity yep. that it has? Now, I, I think right? it like, depends if, if yeah. the rest of it has grown up commensurate to to Bumstead's success so if he wins let's say three more titles i'm 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 anticipating that the other guys uh, you know chasing him are also going to get more pop more and more popular as those years go on i think you're going to get to a point with their growing popularity if bumstead bows out that there'll be enough interest in the rest of these guys to kind of just keep the momentum going i don't think that's so, so let me ask you this i don't think there's I don't think it's in ever in, per- yeah. in peril, like it's going to die. No, no, I'm no. Just saying that no, no, but I, I, I just but don't think. I guess I, what I'm saying is yes or no, John. Time, right? Like people, okay. Time. It's one thing. Like, look, the point that Lee made about uh, Armand. I'm sorry, Armand made about men's physique, the fan base, and that not necessarily being the fan base that's going to the show. They may be sitting there and you know watching it online and everything like that. But right. okay, there are fans that will book tickets to go to the show, and by and large, the vast majority of those fans are booking tickets, booking hotels to see the open class. I think we can all agree on that. Yeah, okay. but you know what Beyond they want to Sid, they want to see the open class because they the, because they love the freaks, but a lot of them really want to see the, the classic too because that's the division they're competing in. So yeah. I think I think it's there's a dual purpose for a lot of the people going to shows. Because I, I see a lot of these guys and they're young guys and I'm like, oh you, you enjoy the show. Oh yeah, you know, who do you think's got it hottie or so and so? But then they're like, uh, you know, and, who, and then they're talking about classic and they're like, I'm like, well, what do you compete in? They're like, oh, everyone says always says classic to me. So right, the right. young guys are right, definitely right. But starting Dave, in class, are, but you're not but going right Chris into bodybuilding. Bumstead, fair enough, but Chris Bumstead is an entity. Right, like I said, people will will book a flight, book hotel rooms to see the open class. I think once you get beyond that, Bumstead is someone that people will book flights and hotels to go see like like we just saw a couple of weeks ago sam sulik right he had the big mm-hmm. photo op at the arnold classic and i know he has it at the only <laughs> uk as well there are fans that will book flights and tickets flights <laughs> hotels to see sam sulik just to take a picture with oh him. yeah absolutely 100%. right how many other athletes in on an individual basis are there where you say to yourself they will actually i'm not saying well, family I think people friends rich piano friends. back in the day a lot right yeah. it, it, right it's, exactly. the, it's yeah. dana and rob bailey the i mean they're Bailey, the ones right, exactly. people, the people went to see lee priest in columbus Yep. Yeah, so they're still yeah, but, but but you could go to an event where you got Dana Lynn Bailey appearing, and you got twenty <laughs> girls in the line waiting to see her who have their hair cut like she does. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, I mean, that, that that's a phenomenon that you know affects not just our sport, but all everywhere, all kinds of entertainment. You get fanatic fans that want to oh. be emulate. You know the oh, stars, yeah. so there's hey, always going to be that yeah. handful of inexplicable super-powered star oh. that has this incredible draw that it b- brings people in, but but you, you can't bottle that. I mean, so it's 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 how many of these other people are going to come up and get more popular as the sport progresses to the point where it's not solely dependent on a guy ju- on just one guy. But John, it was well, always like give that. A shout out. Remember uh, Greg Kovacs? I mean, people would go to the, yep. see Greg Kovacs because, and he wasn't necessarily he was four hundred pounds. Yeah, right. And I'm and saying haircut, right. haircut, freaks haircut, in the sport. John, you know? haircuts right. are easy. I probably met seven people, a couple of Brazilians, Americans that came up to me with the same exact tattoo on their face as me. I'm like, <laughs> now, now you're an idiot fan. You're, that's the type of fan if I wanted someone taken out, they'll take someone out for me. Yeah. <laughs> two, two things I want to bring up. First of all, I want to mention Dennis. Yoshio, the guy uh, who got shot in um, in Brazil, who who died. Did you guys what? see that? What happened? Dennis Yoshio. He's a he's a Instagram guy on from Brazil. Oh. He was shot in São Paulo, 
died. I, I sent you that Sidlet yesterday. If you remember. Yeah, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? That's actually happened a couple of days ago. Oh, and, yeah, a few um, days ago. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to get at the bottom. I'm trying to figure out. So, yeah, but yeah, it was a tragic story. I yeah. think I saw that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I did want to give a quick shout out to to Johnny Apple. Johnny Apple. What's yeah. everyone's top advice for motiv- motivation? Not just in bodybuilding, but getting things done and stop procrastinating. So I'll go around the horn. Of this. He did give a big, uh, a big uh, tip here. Ten dollar tip. So we, we should. Lee, Lee doesn't get any, Lee doesn't get any of that Thanks, because I've already guys. he's already take the buyout. Uh, he's already got the buyout, right? So so Dave, what, what will be your top advice for motivation, not just in bodybuilding, but for getting things done and to stop procrastinating? Just do it. Well, I mean. I think that people have like so many excuses for why they don't do things. And if they spent half the time, okay, actually doing things instead of making the excuses, <laughs> they wouldn't have the problem to begin with. But you know, it is, I, I tell people this seriously, if you miss like three days from the gym, it's very easy to miss a week. Right. And if you miss yeah. a week from the gym, it's very easy to miss a month. And if you miss a month, you can almost go easily go a year. So yeah. the key is never to let yourself get to that, you know, that point. And, and as soon as you come to the realization that you're procrastinating, stop procrastinating. I mean, that, that's, that's what I do, you know? Exactly. John. Come to the realization that Craig Titus is never getting parole. Yeah. That's another another story I wanted to bring up, John. You want to bring that up? Talk about it. Well, let's just answer. Look, no, I don't think, I don't know if we've ever gotten a $10 tip before, but uh, let's answer the, the motivation question. I'll I'll, I'll answer that. uh, But seriously, what Dave just said is absolutely the, the core element to this whole thing is the consistency that you got, you have to find somewhere to employ. We we on this panel are kind of spoiled by the fact that we just naturally have it. We go to the gym no matter what, sick, not sick, poor, broke, rich, doesn't matter. We go to the gym every day. So th- that's the consistent the consistency element that you just have to have. Everything else will fall into place if you have that consistency element. So you got to go. Do not uh-huh. miss going to the gym. Uh-huh. Armin. Mine's a little different. So um, I've had some pretty bad burnouts in the gym before where I just, after I stopped competing, I just did not enjoy going to the gym anymore. I just, this is not fun. My joints hurt. I just did not enjoy it. So I needed it. To, I took two years off. I didn't go to the gym at all. And um, it was much needed. I had a lot of other stuff going on in my personal life. But once I started back to the gym, I appreciated it so much better for other reasons, for health aspects, for just feeling that natural, like runner's high in the gym that mm-hmm. I was missing for a couple years. Um, so you can get burnout. It is okay. It is normal. And sometimes people just need to take off time, whether it be a week, a month. I needed, I needed two years, but that's what it took for me to get back in the gym finally and start falling in love with weight training again. So, And finally, Lee. Yeah, it's pretty much as Nike says, you just got to do it. If you think about it and procrastinate, you'll never get it done. Like I've been dying this week because I had that chest infection. I've taken seven days straight off now. I haven't taken seven days straight off in about 20 years. The most was probably four after a neck operation I had the first time. I went in up to four days and did calves and stuff because just mentally going there, I think it just does me good. And, you know, we all have those days where you're like, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. But when you do go, you always feel better for it. And it's like, you know, as I once said, you can get burnt out. And I found I was getting mentally burnt out more from, you know, with injuries and that I can't train the same. So you go to train a certain way and cause you can't do it, you get pissed off. So it's really just retraining yourself. You're not competing anymore. I'm not doing this. So, okay, I don't need to push those crazy weights. So now sometimes I might not go over 60 pound dumbbells, but just really squeeze them and get a good pump. So if I go to the gym and get a good pump and I haven't injured anything, that's a win. So by just going there and doing something, just, you know, I do it early in the morning. So to me, it's just a great start to the day. And when I don't do it, I feel like crap. It's like one of those, it's like I said, it's a catch 22. Even the days you don't want to go, I think if I sit home, I'm going to feel crap. I don't really want to go. But once I've been, I was like, fuck, I'm glad I came to the gym. I feel so much better now. So. Yeah, just put yourself in the car and drive. That's, that's right. what I do. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, even if you'd go to the gym and do three sets of abs and leave. That's going to the gym and doing three sets of abs more than you would have done sitting home. Right. So mm-hmm. 
I mean, you gotta you gotta take the win, even however however small it is, it's still a win. So it's just getting in that routine. I know some days, like I usually we usually pick my son up at school around about six o'clock. And I'm like, I'm tired. I I just rather just go home and just like relax. And you know, we got a lifetime fitness down the street. But if I just go to the gym. It, it's okay. It's, I just have to make it there. As, as long as I make it there, <laughs> afterwards, I'm like, I'm so glad I trained. It, you know, if I did that every time, we did that before. It's like, gosh, it's been three weeks since we worked out. So you just have to do it. Just make sure you just go yep. there. And again, whatever mindset you have, I'm so tired. I'm so this. I'm so. Once you get there, it's going to be a good outcome. Whatever, like you said, you do three sets of sit ups, push up, whatever. That's the thing. Do you might go there like wanting to work out, but I've had days where I go in there, I want to try and I get there. I'm like, oh, that feel like it now. So I might do 30 minutes on the treadmill, four sets of calves, and I'm like, okay, I feel good, and just leave after that. But sometimes, go. just going in there, sometimes even if, like that's the good thing about golds. Even the days you didn't want to train, you go to golds. Just the atmosphere. <laughs> even if you didn't work out, you just walked around <laughs> talking to people. You're like, wow, I'm on a high now. It's like a smoke <laughs> to everybody. That's so like you true. Felt like you had to work out. But just being there, you just felt pumped. <laughs> yeah. I yep. think in regular life, too. Tip them out. Ricky in Murray. Regular. Yeah. So this was at nine. This is pounds. So nine ninety nine. This is actually bigger, Dave, than the last tip because you should have ever taken that buyout. I knew you were going to. No, 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 no. Now, story of my life. <laughs> but have your sleep, wake up time, food plan, clean your room every morning. Tell yourself you're a bitch if you don't lift, and everything sorts mm-hmm. itself out. Delete time wasters from your life, also. So I guess that, in response to Johnny Apple's question regarding right. motivation and getting things done and so on and so forth but all right so there you go so 9.99 yeah. on the first tip that u.s dollars the second tip for nine pounds and 99 pence which i guess is even more you so. know what though is really good though in, in all seriousness if you make a list of everything you need to do because when you start getting like really unmotivated and you start like not doing anything make a list of everything you have to do no matter it could be 30 things on that list and just start doing them and checking them off one at a time. Because sometimes you get overwhelmed. You're so procrastinating so much that you get overwhelmed. And, and, and you're like, I can't ever pull myself out of this. I'm, I'm too behind in everything. Yeah. And if you make the list, you kind of know what you, mm-hmm. everything you have to do. And then it might be as easy as, all right, I got to pay my phone bill. All right, that's paid off. Um, I got to go to this. I got to you know register for this or register for that. You check that off. And little by little, before you know it, in a, in, in a week, you might have knocked almost everything off that list. And you start feeling much more productive. And that yeah. pulls you out of that yeah. funk. But people get What's into that? a funk when they get like almost like too many things like yeah. behind. What's, you know? that, what's that old saying about idle minds or stuff? You always get people who say, I don't mind the devil's the, workshop. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, I'm stressed about this. I'm worried about that. It's like. You notice if you're busy doing stuff, you don't have time to be stressed and worried or depressed right. about it because you're so busy doing stuff. It's like it's when you sit around, then you start. I've done it myself. I've sat around at home doing nothing some days, and I put on an old video. I was much younger then. I looked at my mates <laughs> in the video. Some of them passed away. I'll probably pass away next. I start getting all depressed. I'm like, oh fuck this. It's like so. Yeah, it's like we all do it. So, but it's like the days I'm busy out doing stuff, you never right. think negative. You never think anything sort of down that line but when you're just sitting around bored and you go down that rabbit hole of huh you know this is shit and blah 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 it just gets you know the rabbit hole gets deeper and deeper so keep busy people <laughs> and, 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 the, ca- and the catalyst to start it all off every morning every morning when you get up make your bed get I up always, make that, your I've bed. Since I was four years old i've, I've been doing that my whole life you like, would think lee was in the military the way he makes right. it i've been doing it my whole life too but see, here's the thing here's the thing if you make the bed, that's your first task. Once mm-hmm. you start doing tasks, the other ones fall into place. It's getting going. It's getting that first thing out of the way and done. So if it's making your bed, you get up, you open the you open the shades, you get up, you make the bed. Now that just starts the process. Then you just take. Then it's the next thing, and the next thing, and the next. Thing. Next thing you know, you're clicking off, t- checking off boxes on that list they've made, and it's all happening because you got up and started the ball rolling by making your bed. And the thing is, even even in hotels, like I was saying, even in a hotel, I'll make the bed in a hotel. People like, what do you do that for? I said, I'm just used to it. It's one less thing. I don't need the sheets changed, so I make it in a hotel. And even here at home, I can see my bedroom from the living room. 
some mornings I get up, I'm like, I'm just going to let the bed air out. I'm not going to make it for a while. As I'm watching TV, I'm looking over. I'm looking over. I'm like, fuck it. i got to go make it. <laughs> yeah, because you're, OC, you're OCD. That's why you're up to yeah. Just think about when COVID was going on, how depressed we were. We're, we were just stuck inside. We could not do anything. We just wanted to be out. Now we have the chance to be out. Just go back to that mindset where yeah. everybody was when mm -hmm. we couldn't even go to the gym. We couldn't even go to the grocery store at a certain time or be out at a certain time. That was effing madness. And mm -hmm. if you think about that, like that's just that what that's what helps me stay motivated. And you know, when you do have too much time on your hands, that's when bad stuff happens. That's when you get into trouble. That's when you you know, hey, I'm bored. Okay, I'll just I'll call up an escort and maybe get some cocaine and you know, go park. So, hey, like, are you talking about me like that? I don't get escorts. I might get the other, but I don't get. He's like, I think I'm going to tie my penis to a coffee table today. You know? <laughs> yeah, because what Armin just said sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, so you know, it, it's just stay busy. You get in, you get into trouble when you don't have stuff going on, and, and it is depressing when you're not doing something. And some people are like. I'm so depressed. I don't have work. I don't have the okay. If you if you don't have a job, go take a walk. Go go help somebody. Go do something for others. That does make you feel good. Yeah, yeah. It really does. I catch um, myself some mornings where I wake up and I'm like, oh fucking hell, I gotta do this. I gotta do that. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, you still got your health. You can still do shit. I think somewhere around the world now, there's probably some poor person laying in bed on their deathbed, taking their last breath with their family around them wishing what you have, more time. you got all this time to do whatever, and you're sitting there depressed, hating yourself. Yeah. This person's dying, would love to be in your position where you have all this time left. So it's like you just got to put it into perspective and go, fucking wake up to yourself. you got all this shit. Stop looking at the negative, look at the positive, because someone's taking their last breath today and they'd give anything to be where you are. So suck it up and get out and do shit. <laughs> Good point. People are, people are laying, in a, laying in beds uh, paralyzed. They can't even yeah. get out of effing bed. And exactly. do shit, and we're complaining about. Oh, I just don't want to, like our legs work, our arms work. We're alive. Mm -hmm. We're, you know, be thankful for what you have. People are just so negative and complaining about what they don't have all the time. Be mm -hmm. thankful for what you do have. Oh, I'm healthy. My arms work. My legs work. Like people, think, like they literally, people are in bed just wishing. I wish I just had legs. I wish I just had arms. It's just you know. It's funny I, too. I wish people, I had a pair. People always, people always I, wish and want. I always say. You, know, you can want stuff. You know, you might want a big TV. You might want a sports car. You might want this. But you know what you need. I mean, like needs and wants. You know what you need is health, happiness, friends. Yeah. You know that's what you need. But all this, I think we put so much focus on what we want, not what we need. That the wants are what make us depressed. Oh, I don't have that sports car. Oh, I don't have this. No, but you got a roof over your head. You got food on the table. You got friends. You got family. You know, be thankful for what you know the stuff you really need. That other shit just. You know, you don't need that. <laughs> I, I'd like to have a pair of board shorts that fit the way these guys board shorts. <laughs> are, are they custom? Do they make them custom? Do they get custom? They, they're, they are new now. You, you have a lot of these companies now. Like, I know um, uh, Walmart. Oh my God. Yeah, the Chula Styles is a few of them that. Um, we should have jumped on that bandwagon. Young LA. Yeah. They, they, I mean, these are really like this. These are not the board shorts that we saw like in the beginning of this division. You know, yeah, back when Mark say. Anthony. You know, Sadiq Hadzovic, Jeremy Windy, those those glory days, I guess, of men's no, physique. No so, 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 is this like yeah. a CJ's posing suit business? I mean, do they actually make custom board shorts? Yeah. I don't yeah, know they if they're do. custom, custom. Like, I, like, I'm sure for the sponsored athletes, they probably have some sort of level of customization, but they are more form fitting. Yeah. So, what you're starting to see, I mean, this is a totally different debate for another time, but like men's physique, you're starting to notice a lot more of these competitors have pronounced legs, right? Where you didn't see that before. Maybe maybe you didn't notice them, but now with the shorts getting shorter, fine, even if they're not judging the legs, you just notice these are a lot more complete physiques. They have, yeah. a lot of them have legs, and if they don't have legs, it is pretty noticeable. Again, I'm not saying that's a judging criteria, but as we observe them just from afar, it's like that. those are things that stand out now, so. Yeah, yeah, John. Like the people on, I yeah. coach, I send them to I send them to this lady that does, uh, you know, they all all uh, you know, women's physique, men's physique, whatever you need, they make it customly for them. So yeah, they do have uh, the style used to be used to just go to like you know the mall and get a pair of of, of swim trunks or whatever. Now they are custom made. 
it, it does show the legs a little bit. So, yes, they are. Okay, so here's the open. They look, they look tighter, too. It looks like they're hugging the quads more, whereas the other ones, like you said, would yeah. hang there like shorts. These ones yeah. look like they're more bike shorts. Like board yeah. shorts. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, Men's Physique. Um, I'm sorry. Men's Open is what we've been talking about, Men's Physique. Men's Open is back on stage right now, so you're getting the comparisons, the confirmations, uh, I, De La Rosa, I think, Hottie, uh, I think Samson. Samson is going to take this, to be honest with you. Oh, God. Uh, he could. Look at that. No way. The lighting is – why – this is the second time – Arnold in the row where, where the lighting sucks. So I did want to just mention again, uh, as we have been mentioning all broadcast long, we put the link to the live stream. The men's open are back on stage right now. So go tune into the live stream. Mm -hmm. If you haven't already done so, register for the live stream. We have the link below. It's arnoldsports.brandlive.com slash everything else, whatever. Uh, go register. Give them the numbers that they deserve. Um it's a free live stream, so we are going to be showing bits and pieces of it, but uh, we do want you to go and sign up, register, so they get their numbers. But, uh, yeah, you're getting a free live stream of this, and right now, men's back on yeah, stage. Yeah, guys, you can, you can open two windows, play the stream, yes. mute it, and just and keep us in another window and listen to us, and we'll we'll get we'll tell you what's going on. Who, who do you think has the best had that best back double bicep? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know if it was Hottie. I think John De La Rosa looked really oh, no. good in that shot. De La Rosa looks great, except he's just got this film over where he looks no, flat he or something. Look at that. He's so, something's not hard. right. He's crazy. Uh, from hard. the he's a little from the front. He lo looks a little flat, or I don't know if it's the tan or what. I but, don't know. I think, Hottie, I think, has, I think so. Hottie has the best tan looks, easily up there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, always. Yeah, Hottie, Hottie, Hottie always does. does. He just needs a Samson. clear coat. Samson looks better than yesterday, though. I think. Yeah, yeah, he does. He he dried out a little bit. I agree. He's harder. He probably dropped about, I would say, what, five pounds from the yeah, Arnold? I would say so. Yeah. He has abs at least now. Yeah. I mean, they're not they're not hottie shredded, but they're they're definitely no. oh, that, that's I like, a, that's I like, I like John, but I thought I thought James was looking a bit better than John tonight, but no, I and I, no, I think I think John is definitely no. a solid third. I, I would have Akeem fourth here, but I mean I don't know how they're gonna the judges are gonna do it. I thought Akeem looked better yesterday, don't you? Yeah, he, he did. He the best, that's the best he's been at prejudging for. Yeah, I don't like James physique at all. I don't. I don't. I don't like James physique as a bodybuilder at all. I, I don't know why. I just I, narrow clavicle. I just he doesn't look good to me. I like. Uh, I like Akeem way better. I thought Akeem should have beat him at the Arnold uh, in Ohio. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That I think that that yeah, I would agree with that. And I like James because he's got a lot of muscle and he trains hardcore. But I think right. You know, but so he definitely. Yeah, no. they just do nice muscular. That was pretty weird. What were you saying, Dave? I said I, I, you know, I don't know. I, I think Akeem should have been higher, definitely at the Arnold. I, but no, I was yeah. saying about James. I said I like James because he's got a lot of muscle and he's a hardcore trainer, like a Dorian S right. type stuff. And I respect that hell out of him, and he's always in great shape. But you know, yeah. you see his, you know, he he structurally is not as good as some of these <laughs> other guys, and 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 right. You know, so you someone can make an argument got, against. Someone said they got yelled at by Steve when they moving forward again. Was how moving forward? Well, you know what? You know what's stupid about moving forward? You you, you, you take yourself out of the light. You know. Yeah, I know. The, the that X that line's line there for a reason. Once light. you start stepping forward, the the light doesn't shine right there. <laughs> shine right there. Yeah, you think they like would understand the professionals? Hardy, Hardy have come forward by looking at because Samson looks darker right there because he's come out of the light a bit. You have to I guess they're the probably next. they're thinking about the judges. I guess they're looking at the judges, and you know, so. Um, it, but even then, the light looks different once you start stepping forward. It, oh, it, it's I, meant I, to shine right there. That's why there's a line right there. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So Last right now you're getting of, a look. Yeah, because we're going to be fighting it out for five, five, six. Yeah. Again, this is only a seven man. Line up all together in the Arnold UK, and I I, I don't have a problem with it to be honest with you. Do you? I mean, I, I like the fact that it's a small lineup. <laughs> I, I, I like a lot it. of comparisons that way, you know. I think I think ten would be nice. I think seven's a little low. I, I they would had like to ten see originally, 10. but I think some people dropped out. That's what would happen. Yeah, yeah. I think um, Ruby L. I, 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 yeah, well, I, like, I like the yeah. short program. Jack Andrew Jack, you know, dropped out. I think Mo Shabazz is probably last place. Um, yeah, he actually looks a little better here than he did last week, but 
Yeah, but who's he going to beat? Nah, yeah, I don't think he's going to beat uh, Antoine. Yeah. yeah. You, you can't raise yeah. a low bar. Yeah. It's probably like, then it's, you know, Antoine. Well, Shaban has got a really bad back. I interviewed him last year. And this, this you know, he, Mo Shaban, he, he has a very bad back and he's been dealing with chronic pain for a very long time. I don't even, to be honest with you, I don't even know how he trains from what he told me, you know. So it's a miracle he looks as good as he does. Yeah. When you have back pain, it's like, like what I experienced, like neck and back issues. Like you can't do a lot. You can't deadlift. You can't row heavy. You can't, the muscles don't contract oh, a lot. I mean, that. It, that, that, that's a good call. I like this call. Okay. This is there third and fourth here, right? His legs are just too overpowering for. <laughs> Dave, do you like uh, John better here or last or two weeks ago? Um, I, I, I think it's pretty comparable, to be honest with you. Oh. He looks he a bit fuller here. here. He looked a little, a little bit drier at the Columbus, but he looks fuller here, which I think I goes think to his impressive from the front. You know, very impressive from the front. But I think that let's let's see the side poses. You know, John's really good on the side chest and side mm -hmm. tries. Akeem's legs look crazy from the side yeah, though, too. Crazy. Yeah, he got the crazy glutes and stuff like that. Yeah. Now this is where Akeem was always very weak in his back double. Um, but his back definitely, imp you know, improved. He has a lot more detail. But I, I don't think anyone beats John in this back double bicep pose, to be honest with you. It's pretty yeah, good. That's a great pose for him. But yeah. Especially if he turns his head. You'd really see that. Now, Akeem's <laughs> lat spread from behind is very impressive. If you watch his lat spread from behind, he's – Yeah, he's crazy. He's Because his, he's his uh, lats are very high, right? so it, it gives yeah. an illusion. Yeah, yeah. He's got, like, no very, and he's very got no waist either, you know. Didn't you discover Akeem kind of Dave? Yeah, Leon Brown actually turned me on. I got to give Leon Brown all the credit. May he rest in peace. Uh, okay. Leon discovered. He said, "You got to come see this guy at the Brooklyn Classic." I said, "Yeah." yeah. He goes, "Yeah." I, I met him on the bus. He said, "I said, all right, well, Leon, if you're telling me he's good, he must be good." So Leon hooked me up with him, and I saw me won the novice overall first show ever, and then at 198 pounds, and then I started working with him, and you know, we went got him a pro card eventually. <laughs> he won a couple pro shows. So, yeah. uh, and Leon met him on the bus, but that's where, yeah, Leon Brown. I love really that story. Covered. That's yeah, fantastic. Crazy. Yeah, he was, was always very you, strong because I remember he used Leon to be Brown. There. Leon Brown was used to train with Arnold. You know, he was yep. on the back cover of the Pumping Iron book. So, yep. On, uh, on, uh, on, he's on, on, on uh, always been one of the strongest in the open. I mean, strongest bodybuilders. Period. Remember, remember when Leon would talk? He had, he sounded like a little kid. I Arnold, I have Arnold's cell phone. I said, let me see, let me see that cell phone number. I snagged it out of his phone. I don't know if it's still Arnold's cell phone, <laughs> but I got it. <laughs> they didn't. Akeem always win the. Was it Bros versus Pros? Bros was versus that Pros? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bros versus Pros. He's one of the strongest <laughs> human beings I've ever seen. I've seen him squat seven yeah. plates on each side, and and take it off the rack like it's one hundred and thirty five pounds. Yep. He's, yeah, he's inhumanly strong. It's crazy, right? Which is a testament to why he has so much muscle. People always ask me, "How come some guys grow so much and some guys don't?" I said, "Because some guys lift heavy. <laughs> yeah. Keem lifts heavy. You know, Lavroni, as much as he he would get small in the off season because he wouldn't train and he wouldn't take any drugs. When he trained, he was brutally strong. He would yep. yeah. edge press five hundred pounds. He would squat six hundred pounds for reps. He deadlifted. So." It's no surprise that he had that dense, crazy muscle like that. You know, you know who, who, do like, you guys, who do you guys like better, John or uh, John or Akeem? Yeah. I don't know. It's 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 close. Akeem's got better legs, I think. But I like oh Akeem. yeah, he's like, I like, like Akeem. Akeem. I like Akeem's back lat spread because that that's crazy. You know the two other people who used to do what Kevin did. I always used to amaze me when I saw Gary Strider and Mike Christian take time off, then they'd come back to the golds. It's like every week you'd be like. <laughs> This fuck has put on another 10 pound of muscle in a week. Like every week you just see him grow and you're like, what the fuck? Right. <laughs> would Gary, Gary would take time off too? Oh, oh yeah. I thought when Gary, he was on, it's like when he was on. I know Mike Christian did that. Day. I didn't know Gary yeah. did that too. Yeah. Like two months right off of the, the, the end of the season. Yeah. I, I thought Gary did that once because he got like shoulder surgery or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't that, yeah. I don't think he took. I don't think he routinely. No, but, took I think, a lot of time no, off. but when he took time off, it'd be a little bit. But I think he just changed his training because he would downsize a bit and look more yeah. like a muscular 
like a Mike O'Hearn type, and then it go for Mike O'Hearn. All right, guys, three. here we go. One Again, guys, two. go yeah. subscribe to the live stream. We'll, we'll show you as much as we can here, but we do want you to go and show support. It's free. So, so here go we go. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Round two. I, I got to give it. Samson definitely tightened up tonight. There's no doubt about that. No, yeah. he's, he's got yeah, such a smaller waist than Hardy. Yeah, I mean, it's but much no, smaller. No, Hardy does have a small waist. Let me look right there. That's a small waist. Yeah, I but it's not, as small, like, as, just, it's not like, as small as, as Sam, Samson's. Samson's got something going on with that lower ab area. That I don't like Hardy's yeah. leg. Yeah, it's a little Hardy's pushed out. Like, I don't know what's going on there. but Hardy does pushed. what Derek does, splays the legs out. When we were on stage, it was always heels together, heels together. Well, because his leg's smaller, Lee. He does it because his leg is smaller uh, Hardy, than the Hardy's other one. That's right there. Hardy owns it's the side post, tweet, I think. Looks weird with the legs opened out like that. It's like, where's the I don't horse? like it either. Yeah. <laughs> I know I don't like it either. He does it because it's his, his the leg is significantly smaller than the other one. That's the only reason he does it. But I don't like that. I don't like it either. I think if Stamps is five percent better than what he is right here, which is a lot better than yesterday, I think he yeah. he be hottie. But I don't I don't think he's going to be hottie today because I think hottie's too hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's not going to be hottie, but he he, he could. Close. The last spread from behind, he definitely. I think was. he could. If he was tighter, a little bit, like like Dave said, five percent, he would he would take this. I think this yeah. looks closer than Columbus, so I think he's a little bit closer to him than Columbus. Yeah. I, what's Much. going on with that with Samson's lower abs though? It's he's having a lot of trouble pulling that in. He's got to start doing my intestinal breathing exercises. I'll, <laughs> I'll send him the video for it. I'm telling you, his I think his you know your transverse abdominus muscles, which is pulls in your abs. You got to you got to do. I mean, some people do the vacuums. I I say you just. It's like you need to do like three hundred of those things a day. Which a lot of people just have that little lower ab thing. Just he never he had doesn't it have a home. He never had it before. It's just like doing uh, gaining, gaining a lot of size though. You know, fast. Yeah. Yeah, Hottie's too polished looking. I think to lose this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But would you guys be surprised if Hottie did lose? Nope. 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 No. I, Samson's silhouette is way better than Hottie's. Yeah, but you got he, he, you know it, it is a conditioning show too. You know, you gotta, yeah, but his condition is not that bad. I mean, com well, yeah, compared to you're, Hottie. You're back, you're watching him definitely though, better this weekend is a problem for me, John. What is? <laughs> The problem is qualifying that it's not that bad is, is a problem right off well, the bat. I, but, you, but, you, but you're assuming then that, that Hottie is uh, exactly perfect in every other vertical. He is. He's not. He is. So he's I, I, you got it, it's give and take. I think if, if Hottie lost tonight, I don't think you're going to be able to justify it not happening. I'm a huge Samson fan. I just don't think he has enough to take out Hottie here. I, if Hottie I, if I, if loses, oh, my God, the – the fans are going to be up in arms. Oh, the God, and it. Just a word of warning. I wouldn't go to any open air markets in London. Yeah. <laughs> in living color, though, in living color, though, there, Hottie is going to look more impressive than what, what, we're, seeing, yeah, what we're seeing here. Probably, yeah, in person, Hottie's even crazier than, than he looks. Right, like. yeah. he's He looks wacky in person compared to what we're seeing. That's Ask what people got to understand. I thought Samson looked better than he really did, too, on video. And, uh -huh. just, you know, and then I told you guys in person, Hottie was nuts, and and Samson mm -hmm. looked smoother than he did on in video. So, yeah. it, you know that's also possible. It could be the video mm -hmm. not translating properly. Mm -hmm. you know? Being there is is night is very different. I mean, that's where yeah. like the little details, Hottie's conditioning, the density, like you really see it in person, rather than what we're you know seeing on video. Yeah. I think I think I think Steve's working a bit harder here than he did in Columbus. Yeah. So I think it's that little bit closer. So. Also, I think they got more time here because there's less competitors, mm. so they're giving us our money's worth, you know, so to speak. Yeah, but if there is an upset, they can say, "Hey, we worked them hard. Yeah, we exactly. had to look. We had to keep so, looking." Lee, do you think? Do you think that's a tip off that it might that might go the other way because they're they're doing so many? Routines? I think I think Hardy yeah. might have done his homework, and he's just that, like I said, a little bit crisper to give him the edge. But then Samson has the hometown country edge, which can sometimes give you the edge. So <laughs> it's like, a, are we going for the conditioning or Samson's? 99 percent plus he's got the hometown there it's like which would lee priest beat uh chris cormier in, in australia yep but i did i beat him on condition because he came in the day before <laughs> i was here two he weeks was partying the night before lee. <laughs> somebody asked us if we could bring cormier onto this girl with him 
<laughs> Somebody asked a little while ago if we could bring Cormier onto the show as well, but Cormier's in the U. He's literally sitting in the crowd right now. So, yes. oh yeah, that would be hard to do. Yeah. He's probably still <laughs> yelling at how did Breon not win yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Rion yeah, came in second, away. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he came in second in the class of Yeah. Chris would have been like, "Oh fuck, so close." <laughs> <laughs> now Breon came in absolutely last. I mean, by the way, I got I got I got to give props out to the IFEB Pro website. They've reorganized it. It's yeah, no, it's fine stuff in here. I, it's I'm actually really nice. Cool. I'm still not thrilled that they don't release the competitor list, you know, until a week out. I don't know why. I think, they I think Samson was getting better there the more he posed harder than it's like he was getting better. <laughs> yeah. No, Probably. it was. No, but as somebody that makes websites, the uh, the new IFBB Pro website is actually really nice, very intuitive, clean. I mean, like, if you need anything like competitor lists, sortable by schedule yeah. and everything like that by division, it's actually really nice, so. It, yeah, needed an update, down now. Man. it, it was very outdated. It was very outdated. You can access the results. Also, they have like yeah. tabs. It's very smartly. Whoever you think no, it's it was, the old website was tough to do anything on the mobile device. Yeah. It's actually totally game changing now. Yeah. So you think it's going to go Hardy, Sampson, John, Akeem, James, Antoine? I, I'm, I think it's so close. I can't even really decide who's. I, I was going to say this, I, this one. I think John will be right now because Akeem didn't seem to do as well at prejudging, right? Yeah. Yeah. Think, yeah. Think Same thing last week, too. Akeem was night and day finals from uh, prejudging. Yeah. I thought he looked really good at prejudging, which I was yeah. surprised that he didn't last get week. better call outs, you know. Yeah. Wait, last week or this week? This week. This week. Oh. Akeem's got to be happy because he kind of kind of brought him back into the uh, the relevant yeah. you know, race. So to speak. hundred percent, hundred percent. When Arnold wants oh, to look, take a picture look. of you and wants to do video of you, you, you definitely <laughs> don't want to miss that. You know, Arnold's taken so many selfies lately. <laughs> he, he wants to stay think. relevant too. Come it's on. like he figured it out. Oh, no, you, <laughs> we were talking about Dave before you joined us. I mean, Arnold looks completely just revitalized. I mean, the way he, he's been a machine the last couple of weeks of these shows, he went to the Oscars in between. I mean, he's been everywhere. <laughs> how did how old is he now? 77. Yeah. Is he 77? Wow, yeah. incredible, amazing. Remember all the rumors we used to hear? They would say Arnold had like like a dialysis machine that would follow him around. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. god! Oh, yeah. There were so many rumors, that, you know, terrible rumors, you know, huh. that were obviously BS. You know, somebody yeah. asked about memories of someone's favorite bodybuilder, Charles Claremont. Charles was a very nice guy, very, very nice guy, and had a great physique. I remember when he beat Upset Flex, was not on the Euro on the European tour at some English yeah. show? Beat Flex. He was a great bodybuilder, Charles Claremont. Did he die? I don't think so. Why are you talking about him as if he's not well, Somebody around? just asked so much Lee, any memories of my favorite bodybuilder. Uh, Charles I love this. This is awesome. Yeah. Oh, oh the guy getting his shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> that Sean Clarita? So you strip down oh, now if you're in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's uh, it adds some excitement. It's cool. it, 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 it definitely adds excitement. This no. this is fun. This is yeah. fun. It's because there's no other audience to any other sport that's like this. This you is, know what? Right. This is totally I, unique to us. Would you take your shirt off, though, John? If you if you weren't like the best guy in the like, if you're 300 pounds, that's that's one thing. But you if know, I was you know. shredded, I'd take my shirt off. If everybody else was yeah. doing it, guys like I, said, I said before, Dave, the real big guys no. are like freaky, sit there humble. It's the ones who think they're freaky get up and rip their shirts off and they go, Look at me, look at me, look like this yeah, guy. Look, I give him credit, but I would never do the, that. The <laughs> ones that are flexing are usually the ones for, that are for they probably be on an that amateur. It's not bad. <laughs> Come on. But when you say it's not bad, how much is he taking? He's probably yeah. getting out of his head. That's the best he's going to get. Now, look at these young kids. Go for it, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> He'll steal the show. Yeah. But haven't you seen him at the expos where they walk around the tank tops like this and they're walking up to the pros and they're all big like this in the tank top? I'm thinking, mate, you, you, you're, near, you're near Ronnie Coleman. Relax. Calm down. It's like... Yeah, yeah. 
Lee, can we compare? They'll walk our... up. They'll make sure that they out angled you with their arm. They'll oh, yeah. be like in front of you like that. And look, man. I saw other friends. Man, you're big. You're bigger than this pro. You're bigger right. than this guy. I'd have people say, Lee, let's compare our arms. I'm like, look, don't embarrass yourself. What do you mean I'll embarrass myself? I said, you know. I said, my forearm's sticking out. That's enough. That, that's bigger than your upper arm. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I could never Lee, imagine walking around back in the day doing that, saying to Tom Platts, get your legs out. Let's compare your legs. I'm thinking, I'd never do that. It's like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, that dude should not have taken his shirt off. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's in the heat of the moment, John. He's caught up in it. I, I just hope Chick that's doesn't start peeling off. That. <laughs> We've got to get out of gut. I don't think Bob has abs right laugh. now, John. <laughs> we're laughing at a chair anyway. Apparently, it doesn't matter. No, I guess not, yeah. <laughs> well, all we need now is like the other – we have like the cricket matches here and that. All we need is a streaker in the crowd. Someone streak. <laughs> but it definitely won't be a bodybuilder because then that's what we shrunk up. But a normal person, streak through the crowd. <laughs> it's like <laughs> – <laughs> this, this, this is the one that I was waiting for. Here we go. Someone grabbed the microphone. To watch you. Him again. Oh my god! Yeah, Nick Scott from the wheelchair division. Yeah, love him. Love him. <laughs> yeah, it's great good guy. guy. They only had uh, two competitors in the wheelchair division this this week. Last a couple of weeks ago, that they had a good like seven or eight. Harold Harold Kelly lost. Uh, the competitor from India new won. Guy. Mahesh yeah, John. Guy, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but Harold Kelly, I mean, it's like the winningest wheelchair bodybuilder of all time. So. Harold, yeah, but he's not he's not young, that guy. He's 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 no, older, you know, at this point. Yeah, but I mean, so. yeah. I'm surprised like the classes in the UK one weren't bigger. Like even the men's open, I'm surprised it didn't have at least 12 in it being the Arnold Classic. I was surprised the numbers were down. Yeah. It it looks like they got a really good crowd there, I'll tell you the men. Mm -hmm. No, I, I was impressed. I mean, it, obviously, it's not going to be the Arnold Ohio crowd. And not obviously, the facility isn't going to be as robust in terms of seating capacity. But cool. uh, massive audience, massive audience, yeah. massive. I uh, everything I can tell, massive expo as well. Yeah. I heard rumors that you close. might actually move the Arnold uh, USA. I mean, into that nationwide arena right there. Imagine that. It's a lot of that's a lot of seats in that place. Oh, that's the one where with the. Uh, the Columbus Blue the MMA play. Fights are, yeah. yeah, it's an NHL arena. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. Uh, yeah, the one I've been to, I've, I've been to the Arnold in the UK before years back, and you get a huge crowd at the Expo because you know it's so close. Europe's so close, and all the countries yeah. are so close. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like going to FIBO. It's like you know, because it's so close, it's only an hour or two flight from Europe or somewhere to the UK. It's the wheelchair champion. Yeah. So yeah, right now they're gonna between this, between uh, men's. I think bikini is next, and then it's gonna the awards. So I think they're gonna line them up for the awards, men's oh. physique, and then they're gonna bring out the men's open. So probably another 10, 15, 20 minutes till we're gonna get the big moment, moment of truth. So I'll take the stage as well. But yeah, no, it's been uh, pretty cool. I mean, just as far as seeing Arnold really, uh, you consider everything after the lockout. And I mean, again, we don't have to have the debate about his comments and everything like that. But I mean, the way that this expo is rebounded now full-fledged in the UK and the fact that he's traveling everywhere, he's, I mean, he's handing out awards to everyone. Mm -hmm. You see him all over the expo. I mean, it's, it's cool to see. I mean, and obviously making the huge announcement what do we have? Two guys just decide to dip. Amin and Dave. What is this? <laughs> Making the big announcement, you know, and it was a timing of the announcement too about the five hundred thousand dollars cash prize, top prize for next year. It's the fact that he did it when everybody's camera phones were out, the confetti was falling from the sky, and I mean that's right there. And then he decides this is the moment. Yep. Hey, everyone! By the way, next year's top prize is going to be five hundred thousand dollars, and I mean, so the whole place went absolutely bonkers so that's going to be another that's, that's uh, open. i'm wondering whether the olympia is going to do a live free feed like the arnold's done also i i can't believe it's got it's taken us 60 years to get to 500,000 first place at a bodybuilding show right. mm -hmm. 
I'd love to see the guys making more, you know? It's just it's not like they couldn't make more. I mean, there's plenty right. of money to go around. They just no they just don't want to hand it out. But I've always no. said too, you need someone like that movie Jerry Maguire. You need someone to think outside the box. Yes, it's good to have sponsors that are in the field like protein companies, but say there's five hundred thousand companies, get someone who's just tenacious and knocks on doors, go to Chevy, the muscle cars, you know, could have right. like Bumstead advertising a muscle car, Corvette or something. Like go go think outside the box and get these other people like I'm surprised something like Red Bull. Red Bull sponsors those idiots jumping off a pier to see how far they can fly. <laughs> Red Bull sponsors paper scissors tournaments. Red Bull sponsors every sport ever, but yet they don't sponsor bodybuilding. I'm thinking, who couldn't get Red Bull to come in or something? You know? Yeah, but Lee, the problem is uh, th th they don't want to be associated with bodybuilding. Yeah, that's, I remember that's the issue. A couple of yeah. times yeah. we tried giving the uh, back cover to Harley Davidson, giving it to yeah. them for free to Harley Davidson. They wouldn't do it. They wouldn't take yeah, it. Because no one who rides a Harley takes any type of recreational drugs or anything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Harley's not associated with any type of bad stuff. <laughs> I mean, oh, it's I mean, normal to us, too, but yeah. other people look at it like men are all oiled up and then thongs posing. I, for, yeah, I forget a lot of people look at it like that way, too. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know. Yeah, for this day and age, that's not that's not out of the ordinary anymore. We've trained right. and everything. No, yeah. You can wear a dress <laughs> now and fit in. Yeah. yeah. I saw that Mold da Davy or whatever her name is, the his name. Um, you see that music video she brought out, he brought out. No. Oh, oh my god. I'm oh sure my it's, god. I'm sure it's a uh, tour de force. It's about mm. something about being a girl or something. Of, <laughs> it's like oh my god. It's like a. It's like a. Almost looks like a really bad Barbie. <laughs> Barbie song. <laughs> She's lip syncing it, just like terrible. Oh god. <laughs> Why that person gets any attention is just beyond me. What is most oh, the cat the cash me outside girl? Oh, that one shit. She made millions. She been won best rap album and made millions and stuff. That girl at the some music awards a couple of years ago and everything. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I did want to bring up the whole Titus thing. I don't I don't know if anyone has saw, seen. There's a video oh, out oh, there. Life in Louisville. Twenty dollars. What? I, I cashed out. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I cashed you out. Blew it. I told you, Lee. I, I, uh, I tricked you. I'm giving it back. <laughs> <laughs> That's so Angelica to share and her comeback, third place in bikini. But yeah, twenty dollars. Look at this. We are we are cashing in on this live stream. We got a nine ninety nine tip and then a nine pound ninety nine pence People tip, and now it's twenty dollars. So we are over forty dollars right now. <laughs> we are no. back. We can we can almost go to McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I went to Kentucky yesterday. I got the Zinger box for my wife. The I got Zinger two original box. burgers. The Zinger box? A Zinger burger and some Zinger chicken and some mashed potato and the chips and a drink. And I got two original burgers and four pieces of chicken. And it cost me $50.67. What? I'm like, what? <laughs> we could all eat at McDonald's right now and be good. Off the you dollar menu. What? I actually I did want to say thank you, to, thank you to uh, Life in Louisville. That is very generous of you. So thank yes, you. I appreciate it's a, that. That's very generous. I, I got a free cheeseburger, a double cheeseburger when I bought a, a double cheeseburger, and I had in. If, any, <laughs> if anyone wants to know, in June, I think June fifth and June fifth and sixth, I'll be in Nashville, Tennessee, at a fitness expo there for S Force watches. So anyone, no, no. In, anyone in Nashville, Tennessee area, I'll be down there. What, what date is that, Lee? I think it's June. Fourth or fifth or sixth that weekend. There's some big fitness oh. expert there. Hey, I wonder. You know what? I'm supposed to. Oh no, I think I'm in. I think I think I'm in Alabama in uh, the third weekend in June. Hey, I watched this thing the other day on Alabama. There was this reporter, and he went to this family. It's like thirty years, forty even more generations of inbreeding, and he goes to this family's house. It was a weird, weird um, <laughs> documentary. <laughs> You talk about the hills have eyes. Oh my god! Yeah. yeah. So which one of these two is winning? Uh, the brunette, blue. blue. <laughs> it looks like they're not the right down. You know. But... Oh. I like they're, the Asian. They're acting all lovey, but they hate each other. Had you beat me, you bitch! You fucking hell. I'd let go of me. You're flattening out my hair. Yeah, yeah come exactly. on. You're, you're squashing, <laughs> these boobs are only six months old. Jesus, stop it! So the black girl one. Asian yeah. girl one in blue, yeah. Oh, did she? Oh, I don't know. I don't no. know what we're doing here. Is, is this second place? 
Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, that explains it. Okay. Look how yeah, much they have it, a, you get back to her room. If you look at the pictures, how did she beat me? Look at me. Look at this hair. Look at that. I was battling her. Uh. I like the I like the second place better. That one. She looks Hawaiian. Yep. Someone said Ling Ling one. <laughs> and the funny thing is, when I talk about this class where they do it from the back, she's really, she's really having a nervous breakdown over there. Wow. Uh, I, I can't see, believe it. Oh, my gosh. No, she's she's together, girl. I don't take a shit on stage. Now, <laughs> when they do that pose from behind. No one in this, in this, in this, in this uh, group of us has ever won the Arnold. So we wouldn't even know. Even Lee doesn't know. Even no. Lee doesn't know what it feels We like. have no clue what this is no. like. No. I got fourth at the Arnold and the crowd went nuts. And Lonnie's like, that's an unpopular decision. He's a crowd favorite. It's like everyone was booing and carrying on. <laughs> I guess she was just looking a little came, harder. The following, the following week, everyone who beat me at the Arnold, I won the San Fran and beat them. So screw them. Arnold's going to come out. So how do you feel? Oh, here we come. So how many hours did you train? Right, right. <laughs> it looked like this. <laughs> <laughs> he always asks that. <laughs> I had my rich doctor, dentist, boyfriend pay for everything. <laughs> is it bad that I have no idea what her name is? Oh, no. They don't have a so We pride ourselves on being on top of every division, yet I legitimately don't know who, who just won, which is terrible on our part, on my part, at least. All the other girls are way hotter, though. Yes, Sid, we expect all that from us, but not from you. Yes, yeah, Sid. <laughs> You're professional. We're not, Sid. Come on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sid's, Sid knows what he's doing. <laughs> You're meant to make us look good, Sid. Come on. Yeah, yeah, good on on, You're meant to say her name. Do we go, yeah, Cher Cherie looks great, doesn't she? <laughs> All right. So you get a look at your bikini class award recipients. By the way, so they have the English version of the live stream doesn't actually have commentary or so I don't think. But uh, the German version does. Oh, is that why so, I'm, not hearing, I'm only hearing music in the background? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So this is, I guess, the default no commentary version. Uh, whereas the German version. so. They had this at the um, at the Arnold U.S. as well. If you notice, Dave, back in the media room, they yeah. had this whole table set up, whatever, that, that, that ESN crew or whatever. Yeah. They were doing the German commentary. So they have a uh, whole German commentary team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always said that they should have multiple. You should be able to pick. Multiple language. Exactly. Team. Right. Or you should... Isn't it just typical that all these pretty girls, you don't know their names. It's just like when you go to a bar and take a girl home who's pretty. You don't know a name the next day. There's you know what? Name. If you could have multiple language rooms, why can't you have multiple teams of people doing play-by-play -play and you can pick from who you want to hear? Maybe oh, you want to hear you know, Kevin Lavroni and Flex Wheel. Maybe you want to hear Dave Palumbo and, uh, you know, and... Uh, we, we we talked about that a few years ago for the Olympia, that they should have right. multiple live streams. You could, yeah, so you could log idea. on, it's great purchase the package, but select which live stream you want to hear. But, well, we but we live sort of almost then. have that. Yeah. You know? I mean, we have multiple... You have multiple... Yeah, but if we like did that, it on the official, but if we did it officially on their true. site, they would get all the traffic from it, and they, you right. know, they, can, well, you, can, you know, we can be sitting there and doing it, you know, for for them. They could have a choice of who they wanted to commentate. Right. Right. Then you that's, can, that's who got exactly the most right. views? Which one? Which you could have right. the serious ones, and you could have the ones who make it more comical and just have fun with it. And right. You could have like right. a competition. See, who has more? Lee, I don't views. know if they have this in Australia, maybe with cricket commentary, but here, like with football, what they've done mm -hmm. now, a lot of different channels. Is, They'll have your main channel, which is having the the live play by play. But then, yeah. like let's say Fox Sports and uh, like the Fo uh, other variations of Fox channels, they'll mm -hmm. have different broadcasts on it. So one will be literally like coaches sitting there watching. Another one yeah. will be like you know the comedians sitting there watching or whatever. Here mm -hmm. they have for NFL they have what's called the Manning cast, right? So mm -hmm. Eli Manning, Peyton Manning, you oh. know. Gotcha. Star quarterbacks, but they're hilarious. The whole thing mm -hmm. is kind of like a comedy show, but yeah. they're sitting. They're not actually doing 
play by play. They're just kind of like what we're doing, exactly yeah. what we're doing. Yeah. Right. Uh, so and, uh, what's that show yeah. Chris Rock does sometimes? I'm with flying in now. What's that one? <laughs> like most play by plays are too serious. It's like yeah, have something else in there. It's just it's too serious. No, but that's the point. That's the point. You have some variety. So if you want to watch the main right. play by play, you could watch that. But if you want to watch, like you want to hear Lee Priest take on what's going on right now, boom, you flip to that. You know what I mean? Right. What's Thank you, Ricky Murray. Appreciate Rock you that. Chris Rock does that show. Pounds. Guy, and they read the news or they read the sports and they put their own twist on it. Chris Rock and somebody else. And the shit they come out with is so funny. It's just like, it's like the two old men in the box on the Muppet show. Just, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just wanted to say so that four ninety nine in pounds is actually six dollars thirty five cents. Whoa! So we're profiting there. Uh, that earlier one that was nine ninety nine in pounds is actually twelve dollars <laughs> seventy two exactly. US dollars. We are we are ringing it in right now. In Australia, pounds are almost double. So when I was getting paid from England, it was really good. <laughs> so what's up with Titus? The Titus. So He's they, they actually Titus. filmed Titus's hearing uh, for, for, I guess he had the first parole hearing he was up for after like 18 years in jail. And yeah. he, um, they denied him. But it, well, you got to watch it because they show the whole thing where Craig is being answering questions and he's, he's yeah. shuffling his papers around like he's like, you know, telling yeah. all the, the, the courses he took and anger management and this thing and that <laughs> thing. The, and, uh, the whole premise was kind of odd because. He asked him you know how you know how he felt about the fact that you know he he took a person's life and you know they try to tape the body and, and burn the body and he he didn't seem very remorseful he seemed almost like like it, it was too rehearsed and he, yep. he I didn't feel like he, he I would have yeah. fucking been bawling crying you know in this oh, hearing I mean he had eight well, years did, in jail right? did she OD did, were they partying and did she no, OD no, no he, he said her. that he he came home they were fighting and that he killed her that's exactly what he said uh, okay you'd be like you'd be like how do you feel remorse you'd be like that's so long ago come on move on yeah. Yeah, but you know, it, it was classic. You know, was otherwise, classic how the heck Titus. are they going to release this guy? He's got to show. Was, it was classic Titus. I'm, yes. I'm the, he, he comes off like he's trying to be the smartest guy in the room, and he's got the answers to everything, and everybody else is wrong, and he's got it right, and right. It, it's he hasn't learned anything. But John, you were right. You were right because what they what they did say was that even if he was. In other words, even if they if he did serve this time on one sentence, he still has other sentences. Right. That, that are he has three. He has three. Yeah. He has three charges that he's got to serve time on, and right. they're and they're the cases are being served consecutively, not concurrently. So right. he has to at least get paroled on the first beef yeah. that he's doing in order to get to start serving the second one. And if he makes, if he serves the second one out or gets paroled on, then he can start serving the third one out. That's where Never we're did. at right now. He Never was did. trying. So he to might get, get out when he's like seventy or something like that. Yeah, maybe did, right? I don't think he's I, ever getting out. I, I, I interviewed the 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 DA twice for articles oh. on this, and they, they were they originally wanted the death penalty for him, but they thought it was going to be an uphill climb because of the numerous ways they could have that she could have died because of all the things they did to her. So they felt they would have a better chance of keeping him in prison for life if they were able to get consecutive charges for him to plead for him to be guilty of. So um, or to plead guilty to. So he's got three. He's got three charges. The last one is the arson charge, which he can't even start serving until he's done with the second charge he's working off of now, which is the one he went up for parole on. That's for 18 to denied. 36 years, that second one, John. Right. So he could he could be asking for parole for the next 20 years, you know. Da Daskus, Daskus said that, it, according to his cal – Daskus was the DA. He said, according to his calculations, the earliest Titus would have been able to get out was he would have been 76. Wow. What's uh, what's Kelly doing now? She got Kevin Lebroni on stage there. How about that? Isn't yeah. she part of some church group or something? <laughs> yeah, no one knows found, what she's up she to. She disappeared. When, when she got <laughs> out, she she disappeared. Yeah. Everyone seems to I would do. It shows, so she should. I would change. She had probably had to change her name. I would not, that's the smartest thing she could have done is disappear. Yep. yep. Yeah. Nobody wants to carry that shit around. Craig would be. Craig would be if he was out. He'd be doing the uh, talk show circuit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> would you have him on day? Would you have him no, on Arx Muscle? I already said I would have him. <laughs> never, never, never. You got Phil Heath on stage now. Give him the yeah. award for the men's physique overall winner. 
which is going to be Corey Morris, who goes from fourth place two weeks ago to first place here in the UK. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. I, mean, yeah, he, I, I thought he looked great uh, two weeks they, ago. They know like, you and I both thought Chiron was the best on stage, but congratulations. Yeah, but he was good, uh, too, though. Corey. He was very good, yeah. too, though. No, Ray Titus great. is in the chat room here, Dave. Be careful. Oh, is <laughs> <laughs> He's got a computer. He's got a laptop in his oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He might. You know, now they give the prisoners a lot of a lot of leeway with the, uh-huh. with the internet. Well, you, you I'm know, sure he has a phone. Dave, you know all of those classes that he took, all the anger management and right. all all of that shit he did only not because he knows he has an issue with anger, but he right. did it because it would probably look yeah. good at the parole board. It's the only right. reason why he did it. And they know that. The funny thing was they they seemed to like the fact that he was um that he did all that stuff and his score his score was pretty low. He had like you know they score you what are your chances of like <laughs> committing a crime again? But the problem was that I think that they, what what didn't she like the fact that he but then he had two other priors, did two yeah, other yeah. prior felony convictions. Yeah. That was <laughs> one thing against him. Right. And and that that he still had the arson charge to work off. Right. Right. Well, she yeah, but Trace, she couldn't like, let him Trace, off. Like, Trace, she could have like, paroled him on that first charge, though, and then let him could, start the arson. Have, but I, I don't. Like, I, I think first, that they... there's some bodybuilding judging Craig Swinkin. <laughs> I, 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 I think when you look at the totality of what happened that day or two that it took for Melissa to die, it was the the, the chain of events were so horrific. That when you go over them again, and how yeah. Titus started trying to pay people to mur- murder uh, witnesses and all of that shit that was going on after the fact, the, all of that shit didn't play well for him. Well, the judge, remember the judge said to him, "She's mm-hmm. like, you know, why didn't you just call the police?" He's like, "Well, I called my friends." She's like, "Yeah, you think they really you were friends?" Well, I thought they were my friends, and they came over and they told me to do this and this and yeah. <laughs> like he yeah, was they- always <laughs> blaming them. But what happened, you know? That, isn't that classic, Craig? It wasn't me. I didn't do it. They told me to burn the body. My friends. My friends <laughs> told me to wrap her head in duct tape. And yeah, stick, yeah, no, that's exactly trunk. what he said. Yeah. I know. That's what I mean. It's like that is classic Titus. He is he is yeah. never, ever, ever going to own up to him yeah. being the one who did wrong. So somebody else told me to do it. It wasn't my right. fault. It was all the drugs. It was, right. it's never, yeah, I was an absolute fucking asshole and I right. killed somebody. Right, right. Was he even in his yeah. right mind though? Because wasn't he really strung out on meth? He said cocaine and something else. What do you say, John? Coke and coke and um, um, the buy all the lighter fluid and that on camera, using their credit cards to buy all the stuff yeah. on camera in front of the hardware stores. He said he was on coke and something else. I can't remember. I thought it was on meth. I thought they were doing meth. I, I think it was pain. I, I think it was pain pills. Oxycontin. Yeah, cocaine. He said that's what he said. He didn't say yeah, meth. Oxy- nope. Oxycontin and cocaine. And ecstasy and pain. GHB and ketamine and yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the, the I would have said everything in the kitchen sink to make it look like I, I the drugs yeah. were the reason. Exactly. Right? What's that? Like a, you know, like a bath salt hallucination, like you didn't right. know what you were doing. Right. It's like after you're eating, like you're cannibalizing years, your, your... You would think after but, 18 years, you could muster up some tears and, and of remorse, you know? Yeah. And that, they, she asked him, she goes, how do you, you think, you know, what do you have anything to say to the parents, the family of the victim? Um, He's like, um... I, I guess they feel pretty bad, you know. It was like it was yeah. weird. Like he wasn't like it didn't look like he was upset at all, you know. Like, well, look at the uh, girl. Remember, Dave? Uh, we were talking about the girl that murdered her husband from smoking marijuana. She had a trip and stabbed her husband. Like, was it like forty times? And she got probation. Yeah, this was like six months ago or five months ago. She got probation right. for right. having a hallucinogen like effect and. Murdering her husband, stabbing him like thirty times, and she gets fucking probation. Right. <laughs> a hundred, no, a hundred and eight times. I'm looking oh, it up right now. Oh, wow. Oh, no, thirty, hundred eight, fifty. Jeez. Crazy. Man, that's that is insane. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> and Joe Biden stole con- top secret documents for fifty years, and he didn't get charged. <laughs> He's done. <laughs> Secrets to China with his father's <laughs> given about billion. To be men's open class awards now. Finally. Wow. <laughs> and 
every one of these girls wearing that black costume looks like they can't wait to go home and throw it away. <laughs> I, I got to tell you, I think they did a good job. It's about two and a half hours. Perfect timing on the show. Yeah. So last place. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, right. okay. You're right on last place. Yeah. yeah. No, wait. <laughs> Somebody's got to be in last. Sec- second to last then, right? I mean, if we're doing top six. I, so I, I think that sometimes that must be almost a relief. Oh, I think over. they got to be giving everyone a medal. There's no way they're not going to just leave one guy out. Do you think? Yeah, this is last place. That's a white. That's a white ribbon. That's that's you know a yeah. participation. That's a participation yeah. trophy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How much is the check? Nothing. Two thousand. Yeah. Yeah. That girl walking up has to keep pulling her skirt down. Every one of them looks like they're fighting with their outfit. All, all well, those girls. If, if it keeps moving up that much, maybe you should go an inch or two longer. Than you have to keep <laughs> Isn't that <laughs> Michael Holland life, giving up the award? All right, so James Holland. I figure Lee would James. have. Oh, it's Antoine. Yeah, yeah. Sure. No, it's James. No, it's James. It's James. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow, so Antoine, Antoine beat him. Okay. Beat him. I, think, I told you Antoine looked tighter this week than he did last week, yeah. So James, uh, James beat Akeem, right? Last, uh, last hour? yeah, a couple yeah. weeks ago, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. And James is from the UK. Okay. Yeah. James, well, remember the-, the first call out was he was in the first top four call out of, of the night yeah. for prejudging. James. So this yeah. is top six, and then so I guess seventh doesn't get this a medal. Be Antoine, yeah. This will be Antoine. Kevin Lebroni back on stage. Ronnie's wearing chef pants. James is going to be questioning, what do I do? Where do I go? Ten Anadrol a day instead of five. Oh, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe uh, maybe Antoine was last. because I don't. Yeah, so they didn't. Yeah, they only gave they top give six. Only three guys top left. Six, yeah. That's so, weird. So Mo Shaban must have been six then. Yeah, yeah Mo Shaban's they six. They just didn't have him come out. Yeah. Wow. Huh. You think they would have brought him out and just give him a medal? Come on. So Akeem beat uh, beat uh, De La Rosa. Okay, got to draw the line somewhere, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> In the old days, everyone got a partition. Right? <laughs> well, you know, Lee Lee was the guy who pushed for every athlete to get some money. You know, so yep, he was. I so mean, did Sean. Antoine should have at least gotten a thousand bucks, right? Yeah. yeah. Back in the day, when I pushed for that, everyone got two thousand after that. Brian you should that I trip, the, the hotel, travel. And that's at least what. <laughs> well, they pay. They pay for your travel. They pay for your travel. Yeah. Everyone got money, Dave, and I got suspended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so One of your many times being suspended, right? Right. Clinches that top three spot. That's so got to be. Akeem's got to feel great on that one. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's been a nice Akeem. bounce back. Cito's been sending me pictures. Cito sent me pictures. I said. I, I can't see him finishing any less than third. I said that to him on, on the text message, but then he didn't get the good call outs. But I guess he worked his way up and uh, they did the right thing, you know. There was only but, seven well, guys in the show, too. Those poor girls look very awkward in those. No, he wasn't like, in the first call out. I know. It's, it's, amazing. it's amazing. Yeah. That's true. They almost look like they were trafficking there. They don't want to be there right. at all. Moment of truth, right? That here. horrible outfit they're being forced to wear. They all you know, obviously yeah. they look like they hate it. So they look they very uncomfortable. The yeah. win, They're all yanking it down every so every time they move. I think yeah. that's true. I still it's need the night of champions ring. Yeah, big mistake here. All right, all right guys. We'll see you. Let's see who gets that second place medal. If Samson wins, Hottie's gonna lose his mind. That's all I know. Let's see. It. Hottie they're, they're both we're not gonna know because they're both gonna hug one another. <laughs> no, Samson wins, Hottie's gonna throw his number across the room. Yeah, turn up the volume. Turn up the volume too. We're going to go straight here based off reaction here. Mm. Are they going to do first or second first? Second. Mm. They are? That's what I did a lot two weeks ago. Yeah. It's only Olympia where they put both in the middle and, you know, call it the winner. Are they doing second place? Yeah, second place, right. Yeah, like they did with the bikini. Yep. Is that Del Jimmy up? He knew. How did Samson know? They... I still don't know what happened. Like we still, 
Samson, Samson, second Samson got second. Samson yeah, got second. Our feeds are different. Our things are lagging. <laughs> oh yeah, they're not synced right. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's they're all, we're all different. Samson second. <laughs> that was the right decision. It was the right decision. Of course, yeah, yeah. it was. Classy gesture. Samson's by Hans right. There. Look, Samson in, needs another year, I think, and I think he's going to be right there. He's definitely going to be an Olympian. It's just a matter Dave, of Dave, you said it. You've been saying this for a few weeks now. It, with him, it could just be a matter maturity. of maturity. I mean, it just yeah. it, it, mm -hmm. it takes, takes time. That's not something that happens He does look better overnight. here than he did last week. I will 100%. give 100%. Yeah. Do we, st do we know how old he is? I keep saying 31 on, online, but people <laughs> no. say I'm wrong. I think he's older. But, you know, maybe he if I had to guess, I would say probably 35, 36. His, his wife did a pretty good job here. You know? No. Yeah. Look, 35, 36, great. but I didn't yeah, everything see online says 31. The finals, what I just saw, he looked a lot tighter, a lot more conditioned, a lot more pop. No, well deserved. Yep. Great calves. You know what I don't know? Because obviously uh, we know Hottie's going to get for I don't know what the, the top prize is for. Yeah. Because was it was it 150 or 100? For the Arnold UK, I'm not sure. I thought it was 150. Samson, someone's... okay. That might just uh, that Okay. Yeah. Prize money. He comes Ronnie. Ronnie's coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Like, wow. There you go. So Hadi makes it two wins in two weeks. Pretty impressive. And another show where Hadi, you know, last minute getting a visa to enter the United Kingdom shows up like seventy-two hours before prejudging, and does what he needs to do. Give Bonnie the salute. He has his second <laughs> title in a matter of two weeks, and now he gets to shut things down till <laughs> October. <laughs> well, he talked about this last a couple of weeks ago with us. What it meant for him to meet Arnold. He made it. He mentioned that in his speech as well, saying how growing up as a kid, he spent his money buying Arnold videos and training. You know, in the scope of Arnold Schwarzenegger wanted to be that movies and everything and oh look at this he did this a couple of weeks ago um with hot with uh his coach honey he brought him onto the stage and put the medal on him it was a matter of uh and gesture of salute yeah and romano didn't like that huh. you, you didn't like that no <laughs> i know hottie's doing all this pa was paperwork and all that stuff and i i saw the video so yeah. i and, and he's pretty involved with all this paperwork and getting him his visa and all that yeah i'm not saying he doesn't provide a good service for the dude but i think wearing his medal after the win is a little over the top yeah i mean but yeah, that's, that's a culture armand you'd be able to speak a little better at being being yeah in yourself that's a, that's a cultural thing that's a showing gratitude yeah yeah I don't, I like i couldn't have done this without you yeah, I mean, I can exactly. see it that way, except that kind of a thing. I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and what other sport does the coach go out and accept your the prize with? Well, you? I mean, no, in happen. this case, because he's his, he's his translator. Okay. You know, for the Olympia and for the Arnold, he has another, he has a friend here who, who you know, serves as his translator, but... In this instance, obviously, only Hani there is able to try. Hadi does not speak any English. He doesn't speak or under. I mean, I'm sure he understands a little bit. He doesn't speak any English, so you know he needs uh, Hani to be there to translate. So, yeah. All right, hello, Iran. He won. Put the nukes away. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God! Time to go. Messed <laughs> up. <laughs> Look, I, I hope we last uh, time. We... Last time he lost the Olympia, it was almost World War Three. I'm just saying, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is the Lee Priest comedy, you guys. You it, okay, you can click on Lee Priest for comedy. Right now. <laughs> Look, I know, not again in a conversation of bureaucracy, but it'd be nice if we have conversations about hottie that do not re revolve around a visa. There was another Iran uh, Iranian bodybuilder, um, Beruz Tabani, qualified yeah. twice for the Olympia. Uh, and did not get his visa to compete. And I mean, I know he's yeah. trying, him and Milos are trying to compete to qualify for, I guess, third in a row, but 
Hopefully <laughs> things will be different this year. He looks great, I dude. I, I, look, I love it. Like about when the Ukraine and Russia thing started, like so many Russian athletes were couldn't go and compete. I'm thinking, look, these people are just people. They don't agree with the war. Yeah. They just want to compete in their given fields, and you're punishing the people for something that they don't even agree with. It's crazy. They were banned. They were banned from the World Cup. The World Cup yeah. soccer. They were banned yeah. from all Olympic athletes. Crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Like these are the people. It's not like they're not the ones running the country, causing the wars. They still want to go and do what they need to do in their chosen professions and stuff. It's ridiculous to punish the people who aren't in for it. All right, let's uh, stick to the stick to the positives aspects of this. Guys, mm. talk about beheadings. It's all positive. <laughs> no, no, no. Somebody commented like, "No more beheadings." Like, all right, but, oh, that's stupid. But shit. yeah, no, <laughs> guys, Look, let, 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 let's keep it classy. I mean, come on, like, I guys, don't even see the comments on, more doing this. Second straight, you know, it's one of the bigger titles in all of bodybuilding. Yeah, you know, but nothing's going to change the fact that we attract assholes. So <laughs> that's yeah. the way it's going to be. Wait, exactly. Dave, you're, oh, hold on a second. Dave, you're hold on a second. I think Hadi was super smart to do this. He, yeah. he risked it. He laid it on the line. He already had an Olympia title. You know, he laid it on the line. He did two big shows. He made a ton of money for himself. Yeah. He solidified yeah. himself as a guy who can peak multiple times yeah. a year. I think this was a win-win. Uh -huh. I think it a win. lot of momentum uh, going into that Olympia awesome. as one of the top <laughs> guys who could possibly win the Olympia. Oh, Huge yeah. win. Yeah. Huge win. Lots of momentum after these two wins going to the Olympia. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, yeah. I think, look, yes, he took a risk and, and, and had it gone the other way. Had he lost, the narrative would have been completely flipped going mm -hmm. into the Olympia. But now he wins and he solidifies himself. You know, it's one thing to solidify yourself as the quote unquote number two going into next year's Olympia, the series Olympia rather. But it's also, OK, what did we just see out of him that gives us belief or non-belief that he can win his Olympia title back? That's the bigger story here, because now it's you look ahead and the storyline remains intact that Hottie, a year after losing his Olympia crown to Derek Lunsford, again, he does what he has to do here at the Arnold and he makes mm -hmm. a lot of money. Good for him. But now from an Olympia perspective, from a title perspective, you know, you look at what he just brought and now you say to yourself mm -hmm. going forward, OK, did he look better here than he did this past Olympia? And this is the yeah. look that that trademark level of conditioning that he brought two weeks ago and you know uh, presumably here again we weren't there in person so we didn't we can't tell the fine details but this look does this serve him better does it give him a better chance yeah. to beat Derek Lunsford in October absolutely I think so and I think too this lights the fire for the Olympia for Samson also so I think Samson yes. comes the time might be the best Samson we're going to see because his fire has just been reignited after the two Arnold Classic second place as he's going to be gunning for that O title also so I think, you know, I don't think Derek can beat Hottie unless he somehow gets that front side, you mm -hmm. know, popping because his front, you know, when he does, especially the most muscular front pose, nothing pops at all. Um, you know, the backside, his glutes are pretty crazy and all that, but cool Hottie's, you know, I think Hottie's, you know, it's going to be tough for I, Derek. They're the same, they're the same height probably too, Hottie and Derek. So they, they Yeah, they, they are. He's harder. He's not going to beat him yet. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't see uh, Derek winning again. Oh, look at all those people there for a second. Then I thought I was watching the food drop in Ukraine. The, all I'm thinking is <laughs> you're gonna have spray tan all over well, some Gaza. Of <laughs> yeah, the hottie did great. I, I, it's a huge victory for him. I think probably m this might be bigger than the Olympia win. Actually, to be yeah, honest, it's a big two, win. Two Arnold yeah. Classic wins. I think they're very, very important in his. Very heavy. Yeah. He's going to imagine, I want to see the crowd. I want to see the people when he goes back to his country <laughs> with two, two on a plastic titles. They're going to go. No, nuts. it, it looked, look, this is a, another discussion, but in this country, right. Um, I'm trying to think, think of an American, uh, Brandon Curry, Brandon Curry wins the Olympia. Brandon Curry could go walk to his local supermarket. Nobody's going to recognize him. <laughs> Samson Dada, no. similarly, right? He was telling right. us how he won the Arnold Classic last year. He goes around, unless it's at his gym, nobody recognizes him. Oh. Hottie, from the moment he gets off the plane, oh, yeah. is going to be absolutely mother. Oh, They're going to have some yeah, Bodybuilding is actually around. important. That's why. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but Same with Rami. Rami, mm -hmm. who, you know, won two years in yeah. a row. Every time he, you know, arrived back in Egypt. Not, not only, I'm sorry. When he was taking off from JFK, here at JFK, they had a whole like display waiting for him at the 
Air Egypt or whatever they're the wow. national wow. airline. Wow. Right. Cool. And when he got onto the plane, they had a whole like celebration from on the plane. They had yeah. his seat decorated. One of my <laughs> friends was actually on that flight <laughs> and he was telling me how literally it was a party celebration. They had this whole decorative thing around his seat. And obviously once he got there, you saw they had a whole bus and a whole like motorcade waiting mm -hmm. for him, yeah, cool. riding all the way back to his house. There were fans standing on the street waving flags. It was nuts. You yeah. get that there because they respect yeah. bodybuilding. They mm -hmm. see bodybuilding as as men, as warriors. You don't mm -hmm. get that here, obviously. Yeah. So it's a totally yeah. different discussion. You get Ronnie. It's sad. It's, sad. it's unfortunate. Yeah, you get Phil Heath, eight-time Mr. Olympia, or Ronnie. Right. You know, they walk down the street. It's steroids, steroids. Look at you. But it's like there's no, you know, there's nothing about like you said to respect them. What they've been through and stuff. I remember Prem Chad when he won the world championships in '88 from Australia. He went home. They gave him a Rolls Royce. He was from India. They gave him a Rolls Royce, like a mansion, everything, just from winning the world titles. That you get Prem that in that. the mid. You get that too in the Middle Eastern countries, right? Like you know when yeah. uh, these they go back to their countries, they get, get gifts from the government yeah. like that. Like wow. they'll, they'll give them a, like for a lot of these uh, Middle Eastern countries that they go to the World Cup of soccer, come out, when they come, come out, back, they the all get like a Mercedes, they all get a watch, yeah. money, blah blah blah, like houses, and, and we get the yeah. feds kicking our door in. Yeah, <laughs> we get arrested. <laughs> Arrested, yeah. I, I, Dave, party. I think Kamal Kamal Garni told us the same thing, right? Like, yeah. remember when he, he got, was like house, yeah. yeah. He was competing internationally, right? Right. He was when he wasn't part of the IPB, Qatar, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Do yep. you think too? It's like, do you think it's like the cultures too? Because I don't know, Australia and America, it seems like no matter how good you are, everyone wants to tear you down, and they sort of you get good at something, everyone's got to have the negative. Whereas countries like that who respect the sport, they appreciate what you've done, and they lift you up, and they're like, oh, go for it. We're behind you. Whereas here, it's like. Yeah, fuck him. I could do that. If they I don't like do bodybuilding here, Lee. That's the problem. But they in any sport, yeah. though, any sport where someone gets good, they like to tear them down and shit and just yeah, like, well, eh. That's true. Speaking you know, like, of culture wise, even though like um, body, like like my grand, my grandmother on my dad's side, she she lived here um, in America, um, uh, and then you know, the culture wise, wearing a, a you know what we wear and on stage is not really okay. But my yeah. grandmother, she was so proud of me. She would have all my pictures. This is all my dad said. All my bodybuilding pictures on her refrigerator and all that because it, it was just so much, like, accomplishments. And um, it, it's just sad how culture-wise here we're looked upon as, you know, druggies and, 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 you know, all this other stuff in these other countries. They get praised. It's, it's just it's sad. It's, you know, for, think, for how hard we work for bodybuilding and what we have to put ourselves through, it's just – it's unfortunate. But social media has really resurrected, I think, bodybuilding and, and the fitness industry in general. So I think I think it has a much better uh, <clears throat> outlook than it did years ago when it was just magazines and this uh -huh. like culture in the gym. Now you're everyone's on social media. You got guys like Bumstead with you know 25 million followers, and, and I mean it's just right. it's a different type of thing. But I you know I wanted to say I, I want to thank you guys for taking time on your Saturday to do this Sunday. wrap up. Yeah, but congratulations thank to Hottie you. and uh, with the big win. Two in a row, and of course uh, Wesley also with two in a row. And I think uh, like forty-one yeah. years on a day, Sunday. Yeah, Wesley put himself right in that conversation with the likes of Urz and Ramon for the top candidates to yeah. you know yeah. to pick off yep. Sebum. And I think it's a, that's a big that's no a way. There's no line way. going in October. Yeah, and I think it's great that the Arnold people have established this like one two yes. punch. Arnold USA, Arnold UK, and I know they're going to stick with it from what Brian Powers told me. So mm -hmm. uh, we might even be in the UK next year covering this event. Cool. So. And Brian, if you're listening, I'm waiting for the Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> 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 Come on. No one's been suspended more times than me. Yeah. I brought Rest a lot of joy up, to the, the world. I brought lots of joy. <laughs> All right, guys. On that note, uh, thank you guys. Seriously, thank you so much for uh, spending the last couple of hours with us, uh, helping us break this all down. And for all of you watching, all the live comments, all the live feedback, thank you for joining us today, last night, and then a couple of weeks ago for the Arnold USA broadcast. For Armin and DB Lee Priest, John Romano, Dave Palumbo, I'm Sadiq Faruqi. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. See you guys later.